Not only are we going to be telling you about the story, we're going to tell you about the production of it, we're going to tell you the steps that went into it, the steps that went out of it, and uh, the story that we had in mind going into it. Now we're ready. Yay. Everybody ready? Yeah. I'm going to put yeah, it in. Sure. Should we do it half speed? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Half speed. Okay. What? Oh, it's just under... Oh, yeah. We're going to mute it. it, yeah. Yeah, I was just let me group that last time. time. And there's just a lot of like, ooh. I want oh, the no. woo. I want or the woo. All right, so Mark. I got all these drone yeah. shots. And Mark, almost hit the house. Gonna be so mad. All right, fine. No woo. All right. So we're going to be, uh, all right, let's, all right, wh whatever. Let's, can someone move that light just a bit? Wait, no. move the mouse. Just too. drop the, oh, yeah. No, right. I think we need the mouse right in the middle. And then drop the, no, someone, great. someone over great. there, drop the ring light just a little. It's fine. It seems like it's only affecting you, right? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, no one else seems to be having an issue with I was asking life. for help. It's like a personal problem. <sighs> Is that better? These are drone yeah. shots of where we shot the shots. <laughs> mm. We never got to shoot more on the, the chessboard. Yeah, yeah we, we meant anything. to. There's there was a lot of things... There spots we didn't hit. Yeah, there was a lot of things that we wanted to do, um, but way more than the original location. This was not the first location that we actually had scouted out. <laughs> Yeah. We should pause and talk about that. Right. Yeah, okay. We have to pause a lot. Okay, all right. So, where should we start? So we found this house, right? Found this house. Uh, and great, a really cool driveway. Great house. And park. Oh, oh no, not that oh, one. Oh, not that house. The, no, no, the second house. Ethan's house. So, yeah. there's a really great house uh, that we found. Sick house. They never house. responded to us. Dope house. Anyway. But anyway, it was like exactly what we wanted. Uh, and it was looked looked real cool, and we were like, all right, let's let's get this house. Then later on, uh, because it's like a murder mystery thing, I was looking at other murder mystery thingies, uh, just to like just to look at them, see see what was going on. We stumbled on Joey Graceffa's escape the room, same house that we were looking <laughs> oh, at. Oh yeah, it was that. like it was like or er, escape the <laughs> escape the night or whatever. Yeah. It's escape the night, yeah. Yeah, it was like ooh, <laughs> that would have been bad. I mean. <laughs> In the end, I don't think it would have been that bad. But oh, no, people would have just been like, oh, they just film on the same set, you know, yeah. as, as that one. And, and it would have been something like that. But infinitely better. Yeah. Infinite. The, this location turned out way better than we, uh, we could have ever Well, that and cool. that particular house that we were trying to get that Ethan had found after we looked at the first house, that house, they never responded to us. So we never mm -hmm. were able to even get details about, like, booking or anything else for weeks yeah that's true okay. and we were we were kind of rushed in the first house we went to they wanted like a they thought we were going to be like super professional shoot <laughs> like, yeah. a, a huge uh, crew like talking uh, about parking bringing in a truck and yeah 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 no we was... did bring a truck we brought a van a van <laughs> we brought a van we brought a van that is very true okay. there's a lot of stuff in that van <laughs> all right so yeah ethan got all the drone shots we had a drone that we used for who killed mark or uh, almost hit Markiplier. the house came so uh, close multiple so times. punishes from hitting the I house i do not doubt that at all we i showed you it we yeah. have yeah. footage of it yeah oh uh so this first shot we actually shot like the second to the last day i think yeah right mm -hmm. yeah um, yeah. So the opening scene was shot the second to last day. We were there for about six days straight, and uh, so this walk up was, I don't know, it was the first shot that we wrote down, so it was the hardest to imagine. You can see Tyler in the window. Wait, 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 wait. see Tyler in the window. Oh, continuity, realism. There's Tyler. Oh, no. Right there. Yep. Yep. He's the, quick. He's speedy. Uh, no, you, you, no, it makes sense. He's oh, a Because I'm waiting for yeah, the guests to arrive. But he doesn't walk in front of the other glasses. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's please point out all the mistakes. As we oh, there's, so many. there's, there's so no many. mistake. I had to wait until uh, they knocked on the door. My favorite yeah. is the colonel's clothes. What's wrong with the girls' clothes? When they're just lying on the ground. Oh, yeah, in the <laughs> background, yeah. The ladle. The ladle. The ladle. Oh, yeah. Or me I like and the ladle. All right. Yeah. So, uh, as most people know by now... Uh, that's you. Sorry you for spoiler him. alert. Yeah, that's me. All right. Uh, very last, hard to last recognize. Last call for spoilers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, last call for spoilers. Last call for spoilers. Yeah, let's last call for spoilers. If you, don't want, if you haven't seen the series yet, get out. But if you have, well, <laughs> here we go. This is a prequel and this is the origination of Wilfred Dwarfsash. So that was not the original concept. Uh, I want to be I want to be clear. We wanted to do Clue. 
Like, that's basically what we wanted to do. And originally... <laughs> we wanted to do Clue, but Catherine is the only one that has seen Clue. <laughs> well, we, yeah, we kept all saying that we wanted to do Clue and stuff like that. Um, and this, Catherine I haven't like, even hey, played the game. No, I did Catherine so was much. like, hey, we have a whole list of videos we should watch for inspiration. And you're like, yeah, totally. Yep, let's do it. Well, am I am I the <laughs> am I the responsible party to okay. get everyone in a room and I'm also <laughs> I'm also gonna say there was no way we had time to try and sit down and watch that with how much other stuff we didn't we had to have do. the filming schedule set. Yeah, that we was had the totally first arbitrary. brainstorm. Yeah, the first this was the first brainstorm. Yeah, and three I was like, weeks cool. I've shooting. been doing research. Yeah. I know we want to do like a murder mystery. Three work weeks last... is no, but three near weeks to time. watch one movie. <laughs> three weeks. Three weeks. No deadline. This was like, oh, we have a con. Up for a video yeah, that we but also because Mark was the one point. who was like, we should film this next week. Yeah. Yes, we should. No, I I did not. <laughs> he said. No, he I said. Did not. He no, said. No, 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 no. Three Wait, weeks. No, no. What did you I say? said. We have two options. We can film it in three weeks and take our time, or if we were really rushed, we could do it next week. And then I didn't suggest one <laughs> more than the other. I gave it as options, and then we unanimously, as a group, were like, we should do it three weeks later. You guys are all like, this fucking asshole! No, no, I want to say three weeks is still not a lot of time to get stuff together. We're to not a stuff. professional movie company! But I do want to also say, immediately after filming A Date with Markiplier, we started yeah. talking about this. Yeah. Like, yeah. immediately oh, after. Yeah. Like, we, literally the like, day that, that day. we finished. Yeah. I didn't know I about this yeah. until, like, Two yeah. months before we, we, we talked about murder this. mystery, not this specifically. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. we were we were all like, like the oh, the next thing we have to do is yeah. a murder mystery. But then we started prepping for the tour, yeah. like we were building the tour, and the tour became the next big thing that we were doing. But this, we always wanted to do a murder mystery, and when we actually started thinking about it, which was early August, I believe August was when this was shot. Yeah. Yes, yeah. This was shot in August, late August, no September. When was PAX? No, it was, it was right, right before, before PAX. PAX. It was August. So August. It was August. It was August. Yeah. it was August. yeah, we shot it in August, and we didn't finish it until October. Like, that's how much work went into this Weird. bitch. And then a lot of other things got in the way, admittedly. Yeah. But And it wasn't like... We, we wanted to take as much time as it needed mm -hmm. and not rush it to come out. Because so. that, even though this sort of did still happen, uh, <laughs> with a date with Markiplier, we, were st we stayed yeah. up that... The night before, the entire night for like, we were editing for like we edited well, thirty six hours straight. Yeah, uh, that was that was really fun though. No, uh, that was super. But fun. we were like, but let's make sure we don't do that this time. <laughs> but then you were still staying up. Yeah, like, I was super still late on are, the yeah. tour bus editing. That's how it goes always. Okay, it's Tyler. So this first shot, shot uh, also this opening sequence was second to last day as well because we waited until the drone <laughs> shot had to be towards the evening. The interior had to be in the evening. Um, that oh, let's talk Shout about out to that. that statue though. Oh god, this place was fucking beautiful. Okay, <laughs> we only have had one shot where we didn't capture the boom mic and <laughs> the camera in that mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in every case, we could have been. Uh, it, it, it was all in four K, yeah. and this video is in ten eighty, so we couldn't. Yeah. So, yeah. very important detail at the beginning of this, we wanted to set a lot of story elements. Your name. This is a self insert video. <laughs> y slash n is your name or. Yancey Nancy, whatever it is. Yes, no. <laughs> yes, yes, no. Yancey Nancy. Uh, <laughs> you're, you are a district attorney, which is important, uh, but we'll talk about that later. No, so. this is not Mark's house or any of our houses. No. <laughs> we, rent, <laughs> we rented this place. Yeah, it's not real, even remotely. <laughs> also, it's I have a question. It's our team 10 house. <laughs> it's our the, team 5 house. <laughs> the reason we said uh, bonjour is that an homage to date with Mark Blair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it could be same character, cause the yeah, chef, it could be the same yeah. very much same exact <laughs> yeah. story. Yeah, yeah. So um, we don't know. We're not Our really. I can figure it out. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna be very clear. I'm of the mind. I'm not a. I'm not a person that is like, if if it's not in the story right here, then everything else like could be anything. What 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 exists is what's on the screen. I'm not very much about like the the tangentially related inferences as far as like story goes. The story is what it is, even if it betrays what I originally wanted. What's on the screen is what it is. Uh, this Death is the of the mayor. author. Um, right? Oh, I didn't yeah, even talk. Oh, wait. Yes, I didn't even say. You. This is a transition point. You. This is a cut 
from going up to the door. That's pretty obvious. I don't know if people saw, but this is a cut, obviously, because <laughs> otherwise, how could I be there? Um, so the Wait, mayor. What? I also <laughs> I also want to point out I got a specific haircut for this entire show. You didn't have to. Yeah, it was no, my choice. Not a requirement. Tags like days later. Like, Just because it's not a I requirement, I no. dedicate no, to the bit. That's fine. <laughs> I it also such a put gel But why in my is hair. it the fact that I can't say that I did it? Why are you? Because I'm not I talking about the gel in my hair. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Right before we got to Mark, we passed by the detective Mick, who uh, my hero. Fucking, he is the main character. If it's not the viewer, he's yeah. the he's the best ever. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I can't picture another person that no, would be better for. You that. wrote this. Piece. It was yeah. supposed to be me. Yeah. Okay. I was supposed to be the detective, the mayor, and the colonel, and myself. Ha. You're supposed to be every character originally. Yeah, that was the that original bit. Originally, it was going to be that been like horrible. Clue with all of the egos. Yeah, Even, it, that, that was the yeah, original. That was it. Yeah. yeah, that was the original. Clue with the egos, yeah. Even with what we did, it still was really hard. Because oh, having God. one person play multiple characters and having those characters supposed to be in the same scene is From really hard. From first person perspective. Yeah. yeah. But fucking you impossible. also surprised us with the first person bit. Yeah. You're yeah, like, that's that's true. Oh. like we're gonna make like a really cool like mystery short film. And you're like first person, and we're like that makes this concept a lot harder. But you no no no. You're saying again. You're <laughs> saying that like we got to the location and I no. suddenly changed no, no, no. everything. But at no, the no, end no, of day, no, 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 Markiplier, you're, you're like never again, again, never again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, never that's again the was thing. always the <laughs> thing. A, after a day with Markiplier, it was like never again, first person. It's too hard. It's too slow. Whatever. That's your brand now. And now it's my brand. Well, fuck it. Whatever. Um... I had a thing to say, but now I can't remember. You did so great, Andy. Oh, thanks. We're talking about Mick? Yeah, he's a perfect... Look at that vest that Mick has. We own every size of that vest. (laughs) (laughs) We (laughs) have gone to Target ten times to get every size of that vest. Oh, speaking of Target. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want to talk about your PJs? Yeah, I want to talk about my PJs. (laughs) (laughs) All right, should I stop the video or should I have a keep going? Yeah, no, 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 stop the video. Okay, so so we were were at Target and we were going out to buy some some costume things very last minute and I stumbled upon these these, uh, women's PJs (laughs) that, that that were made of... I don't know clouds. what. What are they? What <laughs> are they made of? I have clouds. no idea. But they were so soft, and they had peacocks feathers all over them, uh, and so I bought them. I bought two of them, <laughs> one in a medium and one in a small, because they're very comfy. And when you gr- grow up, <laughs> yep. and fit maybe in the I'll, bigger one. Maybe I'll grow the, into them someday. The shortest shorts I've ever seen. I don't like women's short shorts. Yeah. All right. Look so, at that thing that says mayor on you, because we were like, how will they know that he's the mayor? <laughs> yeah, so uh, this, this is not environmental storytelling. This is just a tuxedo we got from Men's Warehouse like a week before. You all saw the picture. You thought it was for a wedding. Ha, got him. Okay. Right. Did they think it was for a wedding? No. Well, no, they all did, did. Yeah. yeah. No, but loved that tux. It was great. Keep going. Hard to get into and out of when I have to change clothes. So I, I got the clothes that were the hardest to get in and out of, and plus a fucking glue-on mustache. <laughs> Ripping we lost every the glue time. the first day, found it the uh, day we left. Yeah. Robert oh, okay. Rex. Robert. Our man. Oh, a, a dream boat. Chef Fortune Store. <laughs> oh, God. He, like, I can't, again, can't picture anyone else as a chef. Yeah. He did it so well. I think even right. the original wait, plan wait. was like, oh, don't, and don't say anything until we get to the frame. Okay. Okay. And point. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, you can see us. That's one. But number two. This thing. <laughs> we did not bring that. <laughs> that was just there. That was there. At the house. We have a wig. Look just like him. <laughs> so we tried. It was so funny. It was so funny. We tried to set up every shot that the chef was in so that he was in as well. And they're both holding these golden cups. You can't really see the background one, but we made sure they were always mirroring each other. The most amazing thing. I could ever hope for. All right, moving on. That okay. was such a weird thing to find. As yeah. soon as yeah. we, as soon as we taped that wig on well, the back of that, it was his idea. Stuff, so funny. It was totally his idea. He's yeah. like, yeah, because we got a wig for that dummy that we didn't yeah. use. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're like a crash dummy thing, and he's like, let me see that wig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the crash backup. Well, we'll get to oh, that. But yeah. uh, this is a cut. Obviously, that's a whip transition. You can barely see it, but. Go on. The thing about whips is they really hide stuff well. So I'm going to actually slow this down even more. Um, So this is a transition here. Uh, You can maybe see it right. 
No, no actually, you can, you you can start to kind of see it crossfading yeah. a little bit. Right there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there was this tiny crossfade, but that's two completely different scenes. Um, back up to half speed and go. Okay. But have to do it because obviously I'm coming down the stairs. So we had to do transitions every single time I change characters. Now a lot that did, of whips. Yeah, lots of whips. But that didn't mean we didn't whip back into the same scene. We just had to make sure we whip out. There's seven cups here. Wasn't that a bit? Or six? And yeah. everyone was like, who's the other person? Yeah, everyone was <laughs> like this. But if you count it out, viewer, detective, mayor, colonel, butler, Mark I guess Blatt. the implication is or chef. Yeah, there's technically seven. I there, think they were six. assuming the chef and butler weren't drinking. But no, but then you see the butler drunk later. You, so, you do see yeah. the butler drunk. So there's seven. There's seven people, six glasses. Markiplier here doesn't drink. I love. I want to be very that, clear. I love how deep it. people yeah. go into this. Stuff. No, no, no. Mark, Mark. Yeah. Oh wait, did he? You're yeah. in the drunk scene the whole time. Yeah, yeah. You did a keg stand. <laughs> no, that's that's, that's Damien. Yeah. But you do say, I can't hold my liquor and oh, yeah. leave. I yeah. can't hold oh, my booze. Uh, yeah. We'll get to it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I do like how deep people go into it, though. Yeah. Because that was, we just put glasses on a tray. Yeah, we I didn't believe, think I about it. I believe that was all Tyler. <laughs> people oh, Tyler was us. crazy. He yeah. filled up like 30 glasses. He's like, guys, yeah, I'm ready. Like, We're like, what's the best people do you think are here? for this to be <laughs> yeah. on this tray? He was so ready. People give us way too much credit. He's getting down. Yeah. Okay, so um, then the entrance, this was, uh, we had to do a few takes because my leg, that robe, <laughs> my legs just want to fly <laughs> out of that robe. Leggy boy. It was like, by the time I'd get down, it was full spread every shot all the of this, Like Every shot that you're in that robe, we had to do at least like 30 takes because your legs would always come out of there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was the worst robe. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, no, it was. Well, looked we didn't great. bring safety pins. That looked was the great. issue. Didn't work. Uh, also, I wanted my hair to be different from Damien's, so I just fucking flipped it over to the other side. <laughs> That's yep. all I did. Yep. All right. Uh, what am I saying here? Is there is there a um, correct? Tonight quote? it's all about. Oh, there you go. Yeah, here we go. It's, it's not all, all about, about me. We could probably do it all ourselves. Yeah. About you. So. Uh, Drink up, be merry. Life, life is, is for the, for the living. <laughs> so, Woo! 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 so um, these are important things. A lot of people notice that each one of the versions of me has this, their own version of this saying. It's uh, funny because when you came up with that idea, because originally I think they were all going to say the same thing or something. Yeah, they were going to say. And you were like, but what if? When people make Tumblr gift sets, it has all the different things that they yeah. each say. You're like, wouldn't that but be I, nice? I didn't, see, I didn't see any of those. I know. Yeah, there was no Tumblr gift set with every one of these guys' version of this. Because this is... Oh, is Dan here? Yes. Oh, come on in. Hi, Dan. Dan. He's, he's eating right now. Oh, never mind oh, then. All right, never mind. He'll be back in a bit. So this is, they, this is a reflection of the type of person they are. This saying. Each of them has a different version. The mayor's is... Uh, life is ours to choose. Uh, the 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 colonel's is life needs a bit of madness. So that reflects who they are. Life is for the living. He's living large. He's living whatever. Whatever you. I'll I'll get more into the detail of why, like once you mm. see everybody's. So, uh, and who knows? I could be dead Get tomorrow. tomorrow. Ha, foreshadowing. <laughs> foreshadowing. That's foreshadowing. Yeah. Everyone was like, <laughs> like oh, everyone was reading more into it than just it's. Foreshadow. You know? <laughs> well, also, oh, like, nice. with Ooh. the title of the series, it's like, that's yeah. not really a secret. Well, look at that. Oh, that was Robert Rex's thing, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... I love this. Thanks. Super cool stuff. Well, All right. So, well. uh, I might blow everyone's minds, or I might... Not everyone here. Uh, the, the, uh, dance here, it... Foreshadows every single event in the whole series. You're wild about this. <laughs> I love. The, I no, worked I know you fucking did. hard to make it work. Uh, mm. But this this party scene foreshadows everything. Um, so I got to remember. It's been a while since I actually like yeah, went through in my head and came up with exactly what I was going to say for this. Uh, so it starts out with detectives pointing fingers. Detectives pointing fingers. Uh, then. This is drunk. just a fun scene. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, 
everyone's mad at Mark. This one is very important because Damien <laughs> is okay. Very so we, what we called Damien, the upside down, we called the dark world the upside down in homage of Stranger Things. Damien is stuck in the upside down. <laughs> that was what that is. It's not like. Did we think of that on set? I did. <laughs> oh, I was just like, it's a keg stand. Yeah, yeah we were just like, we have to do a keg stand. <laughs> You're like, symbolism. <laughs> I got a lot of symbolism in the editing process more than anything. Um, that, so, that keg was great. I'm glad we got so that. So the keg yeah, stand so was great. Funny. Damien's stuck in the upside down. The chef, he, the reason is this, uh, we filmed this, but also <laughs> the meaning is he looks scary, but he's just doing his job. Uh, everyone, uh, this, oh, a lot of people have thought that the cards meant something. No, not quite. That would have been good. Uh, where is it? <coughs> the cards didn't mean anything. It was, um, cards didn't mean anything. It was like, one, one, eleven, thirty-three, ten, It would have been three, cool ten. if it was like five aces. Like, you're just a horrible liar or yeah, something. Yeah, horrible liar if you, like, uh, but no. So, um. Uh, this is uh, this is also important. This little thing where the oh fuck, it just goes super slow through this. Let me let me vamp. Oh, let me go. Have... Do it. Go ahead. Go All ahead. Right. So go ahead. Uh, <laughs> as many people pointed out, the detective has this little curse. He, he says it later, but he says, uh, what does he say? Murder. And every single no, every single one of partners <laughs> <laughs> die in tragic. Every single one of his partners die in tragic ways. Some more tragic than the last. Some in ironically hilarious ways. That obviously you were gonna die. Like that was the <laughs> hardest, heaviest foreshadowing anyone could have ever think. And then the your death still took people by surprise. Like that was that was the funniest thing. But all right, wait, hold on. I didn't realize that until you just said that right now. <laughs> really? All right, yep. fine then. Okay. It's not that obvious. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, I mean, when you think about though. it, it's he says every partner died, each one more I tragic know. than the last. But it just kind of comes across as but a joke. I'm not like other partners, Mark. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm break the cycle and change him. All I right, feel whatever. Like we're special. So this one, I put this <laughs> in here, change like him. we we were, everybody we're, in the comments is just like, ah, oh, Ethan. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> everyone out there is secretly like, oh, no. <laughs> anyway, so I, I put these in. He gets closer and closer to you through the whole thing. Uh, that's just, And then he punches you at the end. So that's it. Um, <laughs> the colonel, uh, everyone is taking their shoot your shot. shot. Uh, colonel and it, um, that guy fight. They fight. I love, I love Mick's the shot. faces. Yeah. yeah. Mick had the Mick best. Is, Mick is the like... best. Everyone misses. No one's Both right. Lines. Uh, this is just, I just thought this is good, just, Colonel, the Colonel is just a little crazy, and you're just on board, uh, whatever. Okay, <laughs> this is important. This is the most important shot of this whole thing, I think. We uh -huh. did this. Most important shot? Yeah. Got him. So, he's loading one bullet in. What does that mean? Especially Russian roulette, right? Okay. So, everyone's, whatever, that's important. He will shoot the detective. That's what that means. Markiplier is not drunk and partying with everybody. He's making his play. For the colonel, death becomes meaningless. And then you get punched fucked out. <laughs> and then the only one who wants to help you oh, in the end. The ceiling? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we get to that, yeah. Important. <laughs> note about this house yeah. is the ceiling the ce I don't know if any of these are clear enough I don't think we have so many pictures of it though okay All right. I All can right. see that alright this is a classic painting that however <laughs> is an addition <laughs> <laughs> so the whole ceiling is tiled with like faux paintings of there like the That's Mona Lisa yeah. and like was it birds mm -hmm. what's the one with like, there like this guy <laughs> that was... but it's just the family who owns the house's faces Instead of, you know, Super God. Yeah. Or it's like the birth it's of so Aphrodite fun. or whatever. Yeah. It's like the mom. Yeah. Oh, is Dan ready? Oh, Dan, come on in. Come on in. Come on it's in. It's a room. I can move. Hello. Dan. Oh, you got to be Hi. over here to be on you camera. Get here, I yeah. Oh, that's it. Really I got a couple of them cut. Squeeze. All right, yeah. this, everybody say hi to Dan yeah, here. Hi. 
Yeah. So, Hello. Dan, we so met. You're uh, now in that spot. <laughs> Dan, we met. It'll update. <laughs> Dan, we met. Da Dan, we met yeah. through Rachel, who was uh, the wife of Ninja Brian, and mm -hmm. also the best improv instructor I could ever imagine, and probably one of the best improvers I've ever seen in my life. She's amazing. She is unbelievably funny. Uh, uh, so, Dan worked with us on the tour. He did all the music. If you were at any of our shows, Dan was the guy behind the keyboard, and his YouTube channel is youtube.com slash music is code. Dan also did the majority of the music in Who Killed Markiplier. So if you like the soundtrack, <laughs> thank that guy. <laughs> he is being humble about it, but he scored pretty much the entire first episode. And then what, what he'll say is that, like, I also pulled a lot of royalty-free stuff, but I all pulled stuff that was very much relating to what he originally did. So uh, there, was, there was, like, the, some of the musical elements with piano and stuff and like the ambiance stuff, that's a lot of like royalty free sounds and like there's a lot of layering to the sound. If I showed you the project file for it, it's a, the audio layer is about 11 layers deep. Wow. Just because there's so much like sound effects, music, ambiance stuff that I, I, I just slapped in. I did all of the audio mixing and just putting that in is very important, but a lot of it, again, is because of what Dan did. So he'll be humble about it, but I'm gonna give him credit. He really is the driving force for a lot of this. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> and now you get yeah. a dog. And, and uh, if I can, uh, a lot of people have been uh, so impressed and kind of emotionally impacted, especially by that final track and the final episode. And a shout out to the composer of that music. His name is Peter Sandberg. Amazing uh, composer. Um, and uh, petersandberg.com is his website. If you want to hear more piano music, um, uh, by him, that's where you can find that. You have a tutorial, yeah. though, of how to play it on your yeah. channel. I do. Yeah, you so Peter Sandberg? That's his name, yeah. All right, Peter Sandberg, he did an amazing job. That last piece, uh, we'll talk about that when we get to it, but it was very important. Do you want to pull a rolly chair in here? Uh, I was wondering if Chica needs to go out. If, if you wouldn't mind, she probably definitely would. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I saw a baked spaghetti cake, and I think that should be Chica's birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Jack in the Box right before I came here, so I think that's kind of what's going on. Oh, yeah. all right. You have more, don't you? So back to the painting. <laughs> so back to these paintings. The, the faces were replaced with the uh, former occupants of yeah. this house. Every single one. The kids were their children, or maybe <laughs> baby versions of them. And then, and then the adults were just... There's like, you know, the couple riding the horse. There's like them. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah. Beautiful I love stuff. it though. Yeah, I love no, I loved it. It was it's so. It's just amazing. like a questionable level of irony. Yeah, because you don't know if they were serious. The faces didn't match the art styles though yeah. of yeah. the paintings. So oh. like it was just so, like, and then just like a photo, a nicely on. feathered, yeah. just <laughs> cut out of their face. All right, so uh, the okay, moving on. Like uh, after you, after the detective's curse of you dying gets you, uh, the only one there to help you. Is Damien. Also, he's conveniently in blue. On purpose. On pr that is so on purpose. He's in blue right there. There you go. That's the yeah. one. He's blue. Okay. Anyway, so this shot is um, a that. cop out. Oops. Where? Yeah, Amy. Don't Amy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amy right Never there. Would have noticed. That's Amy. Okay. Amy. So Amy's right there. Yeah, uh, this, because this, that wasn't what this shot was supposed to be. The, yeah. spot, the shot was supposed to be a clock. That, that We got this clock specifically because it ticks. You, you can tick it. That's why Amy was there, because she manually did that. But it, the color difference and also the lamp placement between this and the final shot are different. So I just <laughs> did a cop out. I faded, the, faded to black and faded the music. It worked. It works. It's, it's also good. Yeah, because we tried to shoot those on totally different days. Yeah. There's no way to line them up. All right. And then, yeah. And then you can see clearly that the, yeah. the lamp is way Wait, off yeah. from where it was. The lighting is way different. Yeah, it's white now. It's opposed to orange. <laughs> yeah. And, and we can color correct a lot, and we did. Uh, but, but you know, was... it was just, it, for it to be continuous like what we originally imagined would have been bad. So, this is one of seven bedrooms, I believe, in that place. Eight, actually? Did I have eight yeah, bedrooms? Nine, seven or eight. Wow. Yeah, it, this place was freaking huge tons of stuff uh mm, good stretch yeah, that was Arm ethan stretch. just <laughs> <laughs> just you know classic one-handed stretch just stroking you know, where it just through looks the like wall a good, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah um yeah so this 
was okay. just uh, doing color balancing was probably the majority of the work in mm. just the basic brunt. Everything the, was beige. The, yeah, everything, everything, everything was, was beige. Yeah. Granted, though, we didn't we we didn't do as much as we should have like for with, the color plate yeah, and stuff like that because we got like a thing so we can correctly get like oh, the, yeah. I'm still the perfect point white balance and, and everything like that um so yeah yeah i also, love this shot so much yeah it's, yeah. Okay. it's just this is yeah. this is just a joke <laughs> he's not a drug dealer Empire. unless he should be a drug dealer <laughs> If everything else is taken literally in here with like the detective and stuff, yeah. I think the butler's a drug dealer. So um. yep. also uh, because thinking about it now is so weird. Uh, I was originally supposed to be a maid. Uh, yeah. Because I wasn't in this at all. I was behind the camera the whole time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to, supposed to be a maid. Uh huh. But then I was like, eh. Why did I write so many little monster things? I don't know. I think I. Oh, what? Well, oh, you I wanted to like push blame onto different people. So that's that's like, right. I was oh, the yeah, killer. that's right. Yeah. yeah. We wanted anyone to be the killer. And the objective was achieved because everyone thought everyone had reason for it. Um, so this. Oh, yeah. This was so we thought that maybe the viewer did it. You know, kill him. Because the first episode was just very much like a whodunit. Like, we don't know what happened. Uh, maybe anybody. Yeah. So he goes on and talks about that. Uh, so, but. Out of the food? Yeah, so good to let the beast out. Meaningless. Then again, I'm not sure what we're supposed to be celebrating. Uh, it's good to have the gang back together, meaning the gang was not together at some point, but out of the blue. So everything broke, they're not together, and then suddenly we're back together, and everything's good and hunky dory. Everyone's blue? Blue out of the blue. Out of the blue. Like. Out of the. And then I dyed my hair back. Yeah. <laughs> God, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Ah. Life is blue. ours to choose. Yeah, there it is. is. Life is ours to choose. That's the second piece. First is life is for the living. This is life is ours to shoot. Shoes. Yeah. Shoes. Very aspirational, Shoes. the mayor. Yeah. yeah. A good guy. I have some work to finish. I'll meet you at breakfast. Very intentional that he went away. You could think that the mayor did it. Because he goes to do something, but right before you see the body. So, mm -hmm. uh, la la la, very pretty, like going down the stairwell yeah. thing. There's it's... alternative music for this that I, I remember I wrote. Um, yeah. I sent oh, like yeah. multiple options. So, so the music that's in here is kind of a harpsichord yeah. and bassoon. Oh, I love this piece. Um, and yeah. uh, but there was an alternative where it was the polar opposite, and it was yeah. kind of like this dreamy, like oh, it's such a beautiful place, oh, this beautiful staircase, oh, murder. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't hear yeah. that one, so I didn't. I didn't I know that was what. Uh, airs. Oh, go ahead. You, go. you did. You heard it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Everybody's doing like different things of life is our shoes. Like our oh, life is our shoes. Oh this yeah, you our, can see uh, all of our props there. Oh yeah, there. printer. <laughs> Here's the colonel's hat. Like, oopsies! I could have cropped in there, I but know. I didn't. I didn't realize till after it was rendered. Yeah. Yeah. So. uh this is just like the whole place had tons of art. It was just thrown everywhere from the night before. <laughs> yeah, uh, this uh, mm. this is just Goofy. something that was there. We didn't put a mustache there. Everyone was like, "It's a mustache." It's like it's just there. Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah. 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 The pe the things that. people notice are incredible. Uh, this is a transition, a cut. Uh, this one's more <laughs> obvious. Okay, that <laughs> <Okay>. fall. <laughs> There's actually, yeah, there's we two did, different That cuts. was the very first thing that we shot, right? Yeah, the very yeah. first thing was me falling. I really do, I jump off of a chair, like, and uh, I jump <laughs> off of a chair and I slam into a, what's called a crash mat. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a crash mat. I can, uh, wait, I can widen you guys. Let me, here. Uh, Tyler, if you get closer, I can, I can, you can be in here. It's hard with the door. Oh. Last time I've done this, I had to move it over here and then close the door. Sweet. You can close the door. Yeah, I've got hard wire in there. Hi, right baby. All right, sorry, just resituating one second. Check in the box. Yeah, I Where is it? <laughs> Good job. Good luck straddling that. Yeah, you can get more over. Hi. Okay. She's had a lot of chicken lately, a little crusty chicken. And then I can open mm -hmm. the door for air vent. No. Air. No. All right, that's cool air coming in. I have some Felt air. it right on my knee. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Back into it. Okay, so I fall into a crash mat. I die. The point is, uh, I fall from nowhere for no other reason than it is the easiest way to get a jump scare out of a viewer. That really nothing. Uh, and then lightning strikes. 
make it dramatic. That's pure a transition. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, that's not a transition. That's actually just a pure whip. Yeah. There's been a murder. Yeah, we actually had you on the floor. This yeah. is so great. This is the first. Yeah, you were on the floor scene. for a long time. With the robe yeah. and the hat. Yeah. It's just yeah. Great. yeah. God, murder. <laughs> also, very important thing. Everyone was pointing out that the mayor later was like, he turned gray. <laughs> Fucking gray. Like it's just the lighting. Like that's nothing. It says lighting differential. Uh, the it's lightning the finisher effect. you put on it. No, yeah. I purposely turned gray. I'm actually <laughs> yeah. look, so great. Even his hand is gray. <laughs> you, look, look at that. Look at that dead hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that dead ass hand. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Means nothing. Okay, so <laughs> the the detective. This is where he finally starts talking. These are his first lines, and uh, the detective is rightly upset. This is a goof. Uh, and Mick is the most incredible detective so I... When he, we came oh, in for oh. the, the first, like, we did a walkthrough the first day we got yeah. there, and yeah. everyone's like, you got your script? And he just whips out all of his lines, and he has by far the most. Yeah, like, he had yeah. everything yeah. memorized. And he's like, oh, I know, I know Except for, like, that real long walking. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and we're like, oh, yes, a professional. Long. But it only took <laughs> him, like, 30 minutes yeah. to nail it. Oh, like, I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Like, we yeah, were actually reading lines, like, right when I first got there. Yeah. And you guys were out running and doing something at that point, but we were reading lines back and forth which is how i landed on the accent or whatever it was that i did yeah <laughs> so uh the body's cold he's been dead a while this is all just you know storytelling mm -hmm. bullshit it's yada 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 you well there's a purpose the de he's been dead a while thing oh Let's i know i said storytelling bullshit <laughs> like it's part of the story but everyone can no infer. but it was we had there was more meaning behind it it was that you had I know. Okay. Not, That's what I'm saying. Everyone's everyone will get that when it gets to that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So here's my badge. Uh, this Those is. Those are all okay. <laughs> I would like to this. talk about this because everyone's like, it just looked like the same picture over and over. Those are all different faces. Those are all different faces, oh, except, except for Mick. For Mick. Mick. Mick is the same yeah. face every single time. But those are. But those are all different every men. Every single one is a different <laughs> man. Attention to detail. Oh, yeah. I yeah. want people to see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're not all white. Thank you very much. <laughs> Every uh, single one is different. Finisher. <laughs> my They're all gray. favorite, my favorite prop of the whole thing is the detective. So we should have had it pulled out more through the story, yeah. but he, oh, can I talk about the detective too? Yeah. Uh, when we were coming up with costumes, he was originally supposed to have a hook hand that was <laughs> oh, yeah. an eye, like, yeah. a, like a magnifying glass hook hand. It was supposed to be detachable. You could like put in different screw things, to different it. things in it, like uh, Lemony Snicket, the Netflix uh, yeah, a series of name? unfortunate events. Yeah. No. The hook handed yeah. man. The hook hand man. No, each one of them died. Each death more tragic than the last. So <laughs> tragic. How did people not get that? Which well, made it all more tragic. You know, I, I get Your it. death is gonna be tragic. And then he says it again, Ethan. Well, sorry. <laughs> Look, he, you're my new partner. No, no, thank you. That's what all my old partners <laughs> you right before they bad. died. Huh? Nah, I didn't pay attention. Well, you were the like, one holding the camera. <laughs> I paid attention to the it's framing, not the dialogue. Like Jesus. Yeah. Oh, fucking I Robert. I love could change. Yeah. Could break this <laughs> Robert Robert was the most relatable person of this story. This is so good. All right, fingerprinting kit. This is a joke. There's no kit. And when you look back, it's already done. Yada, yada, youpty. Nothing new here, baby. Great transition. Mm. Sweet oh, yeah. kit. Yep. That the way he tosses kit. that, that is, that's a maintains case. the eye contact while he tosses yeah. it. GoPro yeah, that's a good case. <laughs> All right, so uh, looking at the body, it's now the dummy under there, so thankfully I'm not under there because I have to be right here, thankfully. What happened here? The bodies, there's been a murder. So should we talk about the murder thing now or later? Mm. The, like the lightning? The lightning, yeah. Well, I mean, just lightning sure. every time we said murder. murder. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk about it later. There's, there's, there's. Uh, everyone's like, why though, and why the the groundskeeper not? And I'll it talk about it. Because it makes transitions that. easy. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Did we uh, ever murder. use a lightning? Yeah. As a transition, so. we only used it once. Uh no, yeah. Did. No yeah, in the third episode when we transitioned into the different places, that's when we used lightning. Mm -hmm. I used it to cover some different takes, uh, but that's it. Killed very specifically when he says killed, doesn't do lightning. Why? Who would do this? That's what we're trying to find out. Okay. I feel like we should call the authorities. Uh, goof. This is this take was the best one, but he fumbled his, like, putting it back together. So he oh, I like just, it, though. He kind of just shoves it in his pocket. Yeah, I can't believe he carried on. Yeah, he didn't get it right. 
None of us would get any far. This is just a bullshit excuse for keeping everyone in the house. Because otherwise, you just run away. Like, why would you stay in this house? Mm -hmm. Like, in the meantime, we're stuck here. Like, sure. Okay. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Check on the other guests. Okay. This There's was no a, other guests. This was a point of contention that a lot of people were like, other guests. The only person not in this room right now is... The colonel. The colonel. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and technically the groundskeeper, but... The butler knows about the groundskeeper, but not a guest. So, yeah. him saying other guests is... Do we want to call it just, like, a, a thing? He meant to check on, like, the colonel. Uh, I think, actually, it was written guest, and maybe this take was just guests. Yeah. No, I no, believe the guests. script says other guests. Then that was I just my error, I think. No, but I liked it because then it gives the illusion and somewhat foreshadowing that there's somebody there that you don't know is there. Like, Let's go with that one, then. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Because originally it was going to be a huge party. It wasn't going to be yeah. a full party. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Yeah. 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 The original writing was, it was a huge party. The party scene was going to be much more involved, but then we realized we didn't have more people there, so... It, <laughs> you were like, Amy, Catherine, B, and these shots yeah. were the only mm -hmm. two people, and then we just disappeared. So it's just no one's two more people, it. and then we yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we couldn't have temporary characters, so we just turned it into a poker night. That's a hangover from the original script writing. Okay, that's right. All right, so... Uh, I also liked it because it made it <laughs> seem like my character knew more than the viewer knew uh. so that might have created why people thought i did it is because <laughs> i knew something celine celine's not there yet yeah celine is, yeah celine's not there yet. uh yeah talk to the colonel about this this everyone was like he turns gray as we pointed out it's just the lightning it's lighting it's nothing uh <laughs> it's, nothing. <laughs> it's nothing yeah all right partner get to work time 1 30 okay 1 30 is very important timeline just keep that in your brains uh, as far as like the making of it though, we're so lucky that these were we kept the body there because the reflections worked out. Other than that, just <laughs> I love the tape, <laughs> the caution tape. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. The different color caution tape and like. Well, it's the danger and the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Over a place that has nothing to do with the actual <laughs> crime. Yeah. I just thought this was a funny goof. Uh, yada yada yada. This just means that the viewer was not there when the detective thinks that like I was <clears throat> killed or Markiplier was killed. <laughs> He turns gray. We just talked about that. <laughs> we ju we we just talked about. It. Do we need to go over this again? Yes, please. It's just mm -hmm. it's the lighting. All right, that's the lighting. I Here's the lighting when other too. people come in. You want to see people turn gray? There. Look, Look at, at his hand. hand. It's gray. Yep. It's the lighting. That's true. It doesn't mean shit. Here comes the butler in. Maybe the butler's dark applier. He's gray as shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was Not. really spooky, though. <laughs> All right, anyway. Carrying on. <laughs> so, what is, I, I had to... I had to... <laughs> he turns check, gray, dude. <laughs> I, I had to check with everybody if this was the take that we wanted to use. <laughs> it was the best sniff. take of the scene. It, it was. was. It was the far. best take. There were other takes that he was a bit less, I'm going to finger this corpse in the ass. <laughs> oh, but this one... <laughs> Anyway, it just made the detective this weird but hilarious character, and I so love it. Good. All right. So, um, <coughs> oh, yeah, funny thing. Is. Okay, this dialogue from the colonel. You want to know how last minute I did it? I did it in the dressing room of Chicago, Illinois, during the tour. <laughs> and then I audio edited it to make it sound like I was in that room. And we had lost the, the original, like, yeah. you just I remember us just sitting outside your dressing room. Yeah. We're just like, oh, we yeah, he's doing like, that. You didn't sound like you were far away. So you went to the far side of the dressing room and just stood facing the wall. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> Nobody listened to me for a bit. <laughs> How many times did you lock yourself out of that dressing room? Bro? No, we don't need to talk about that. Right? We're talking about who Markiplier. Right? I did that once Obviously. to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this dialogue is explaining that uh, the mayor is genuinely upset over Mark's death. He's wondering why the colonel isn't, but he's also saying, "I know you hated him, but he reached out to you." Combine that with what he said about how the gangs all together. And how it's weird that it's out of the blue like this. Like, he reached out to you to, uh, like, mend the wound. Whatever that wound may have be, may have been. Um, the colonel is very, uh, very, like, dismissive of this, obviously. And the colonel is not really <coughs> that interested in it. Yeah. 
the mayor's hurt by his flippancy, yada, 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 doodle, doodle, do, boobity, boobity, boo, who cares? Oh, he's in shade. He's dark. He's dark. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Transition. Nice transition. Bad color change that I tried to fix but didn't have a lot of time for. Because this shot is shot at night. That's why all the blinds yeah. are closed. Because we picked it up later. Uh, I don't... Look how great you look. Good yeah, no, it looked it looked wonderful in there. Uh, I gotta give amends to uh, or commendations to Amy for the Ooh. costuming. She Thanks. did wonderfully. Mm. She did all the costuming work. Really great stuff. Sourced it all. Is that one? Oh no, there's do one part have, where some of the badges. Do we have out. the original hat for the colonel here? Oh, I can find it. I think it must be in that closet. Yeah, you, oh, you, can oh, you guys there. don't want to see this. It would have ruined this entire. Yeah, because originally, and a lot of people caught on. This guy is inspired. Wanna... Almost yeah. directly from the hunter from Jumanji. Exactly. Yeah, that's what like, the goal was. Yeah, that was the goal. He want. I wanted him to look exactly like that. Name you said the Jumanji line. Yeah, and then the Jumanji line. So now Canon. He's been in the Jumanji game at some point. <laughs> Amy, just you're doing great, babe. Do you want me to help? No, no. She's an independent woman. She got, I got it. it. I got it. All right. So this is the Colonel's recollection of what happened take into account the colonel does not like mark he doesn't really care what happened and he's just guessing this is the colonel's guess this is not like true to life this is a guess obviously because there's no way this could be me right no this is my favorite scene it's uh, so yeah. funny this was the original hat for the colonel yeah and i really used <laughs> I riffed this line. I wonder where I pulled my source material from. The voice that you found for the colonel is really awesome. Thank you. I have to say, yeah. Thank you. Bully. Combining a bully. <laughs> yeah, and then married with this sort of, it had a very surreal effect. For yeah. Sure. <laughs> colonel deserved better, someone said. Agreed. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. He did some messed up stuff. Yeah. He said things. Yeah. <coughs> okay. You anyway, can see so, in the Colonel's costume, he's got the little the little bits of red. Because we were gonna have more, uh, more pink. Yeah, more pink and like yellow. But that would have been too much of a giveaway. Yeah. Not that anyone cares, but oh, I'm wearing you're... I'm wearing the same shirt that's in the end scene underneath this. I don't know the why. The glasses, the little like. Oh, these fuckers. <laughs> oh. Because yeah, we oh, just like glue. Because people are asking so where he got these glasses. Those are just like fake glasses, and then this like attachment to yeah. it. Yeah. Um. But like we had to super glue it, so they constantly would fall down. So there's no, yeah, uh, what's that cohesion? There's no, there's no continuity. continuity. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I'm really proud of the whip up, whip down thing. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That was the change up. Um, we were trying to figure out how to transition in and out of this, mm -hmm. and we we're like, we didn't want to do the whip left or right. And I was like, what if we went up and down? Yeah, That's and cool. it just made sense with like the fall, and then it's like a yeah. flashback sort of. And, and also like the perspective <laughs> change between first person and then this yeah. weird recollection. Like, yeah. I was worried because I wanted to keep this so much, but actually, it's things like this that made me realize that the videos with the van are going to work, and all the cuts you can do them anyway because it doesn't really break the illusion. Same with mm -hmm. the party scene. Anyway, and that's what happened probably anyway. He doesn't know. Like, if you need to corroborate this story with anyone else, just be on your way and investigate the entire house. He doesn't care what you say. So, uh, this <laughs> this shot right here with the... the butler. The butler. Uh, obviously, now this was... We will admit, this is a mistake. <clears throat> we meant to have the body back there because we shot it afterwards. But I've got a story-wise explanation that I'll bullshit about later. But. <laughs> and that picture on the screen yeah. looks like the soundboard of a piano. It is. Right? Because it's just like the, the, <laughs> the auto screen on that projector. Yeah, yeah. it's the like... But it has a special significance because the, it turned out the piano yeah. ended up being a very important foundational uh, element oh, yeah. of, the, of the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of coincidences that we roll into the story. So This, <laughs> this I want to give props to Mark. You sat down with who? Just Mick and came up with this this entire like line sequence of what I was going to do to bring you into the the cellar. Oh, yeah. 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 And yeah. So this this was actually thought of once we were actually at the house. We we didn't have this part figured out. Yeah. As a whole behind the scenes, the first uh, the first like day or two of us being there, we didn't shoot a damn thing. I, I wanted to make sure one of the 
biggest things that I, I think Catherine mentioned this uh, early on in the brainstorming was that all the characters, once you figure out what the characters want and how they relate to each other, the story kind of falls into itself. So when we were there with all the characters, we just wanted to make sure that everybody was uh, familiar with their lines and also we ran through the script and made changes. Anybody that wanted changes like, could make whatever they want. Okay, so not for the faint of art, Domain of Evil this is. This is just trying to creep the viewer out, making him think, making the viewer think that there's something very important down here and there is, but it, it's hyping it up to, to no end. Uh, in, in all reality, I feel like th I forgot a particular line we were going to say. It's something about only a, a murderer would do something like this or something. No, like no, that you, you, well. you nailed the lines, I think. This is just co-opted from what Yoda said. Like, uh, <laughs> what did he say at the, you know, when they're on, in episode two, like, you only take what evil you go in there with. Like, it was just some bullshit <laughs> co-op to <of> that. <laughs> And you're really making me think back to this Star Wars. All right, so then you first makes the viewer think that maybe the butler's going to stab you in the back That's if he did it. Uh, yeah, like stuff like that. Ooh, super spooky. Ooh. I wonder what this sounds like. In. Everybody hold your ears on. Yeah. <laughs> Sweep up. Raising the tension, raising the tension. Okay. I laughed so hard doing this one. A lot of people thought this was a flask. That's just a uh, that's a humidity thing, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's just there to make sure the wine stays a certain. The, the five dollar wine. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's just yeah. like they got like a pack of Costco wine. Yeah. And they were like, it's weird if it's empty. <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. All right, broken wine bottle. Um, this is here for a reason. Uh, a reason that I will get into later once we get more into it but just keep this in your mind this this bottle isn't just a joke from the butler i mean yeah the butler is so worried about the the mess that he thinks this is the worst thing in the world he doesn't know the why of the the thing was there he just he just cares that it happened like and this line i wanted to put on a shirt <laughs> the master would be so displeased if only he was still alive <laughs> So, um, <laughs> put that in your brain. Okay, so there's a transition right across this, um, this right here. Ooh. Ooh, transition. Okay. Uh, once again, Robert Rex is a goddamn hero, a living legend, the most amazing... <laughs> okay. Oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> mm. That, that chef. It's a full body a chop. Chef. He's chopping <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs. Because that's what we had the night before, we're like, we don't have any food here except for our leftovers. <laughs> I don't a a ladle and, a knife. and then there's one of the So those yeah, uh, Robert and I wrote these lines too. Uh, and uh, he this is just like uh, like vamping like the chef is a very scary character but inherently harmless. Uh, it just comes off as ironic if he did kill it which nobody knows at the time. So he was the person that people suspected the least because they were like, oh, this is too much over the top, which is totally fine. And imagine why can you. Uh, so wiped down all the fingerprints or cleaned up all the evidence. This is just dialogue that was hilarious when we were <laughs> writing it and we were laughing out loud because it was just so funny. Um, but then we broke the rule of threes because we made a pattern. First one is got rid of all the evidence of that delicious meal I prepared and wiped down all the fingerprints from those filthy dishes. Now the rule of three is just, three is the sh smallest number you need to establish a pattern. And then sopped up all that blood and doesn't qualify it with anything. So that's important, put that in your mind. Also put one, in, one AM in your mind, like I always do. Now from a technical standpoint, this <laughs> was the biggest cop-out I've ever made in my editing life. <laughs> also, I, this was gold. Bigger that, that than just fading to black. chef thing happened to be at the house. Yeah, we talk we about that. About. Yeah, it's just beautiful that he was there. So we came up with this idea that, like, we originally wanted to do a Five Nights at Freddy's style, like, homage. He's a security camera, too, and I was going to have him move around and follow people, like, weirdly. Um, but we forgot to shoot that. So, what I did, that's a picture. That is a still frame that I ripped from video uh, in the fourth episode. 
<laughs> I edited it. I put a flicker, put a VHS filter over it. I put this designation Little Buddy because I thought it was funny. I put kill mode up there in little, like, he, he can either be in security mode or kill mode just because it's funny. Like, that's there's no real story element to it. This thing does have a kill mode. The important thing story-wise is these dates go backwards. These are security footage from days prior. This thing can move. It's just enough to set up a pattern that this thing can move, and we're going backwards in time. All of this after 1 a.m. every night. This <laughs> is the only piece of BTS that pulled this shit together. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Abe, Mark, good to see you. We shot this, I don't know when. The reason that this is like, the only the shot that we night. had... The first night, so it was the same night we had the... Every other BTS shot we had taken had the, the little, little statue buddy in it. it. Yeah, it was yeah. super, super good. But this also worked out really good. I'll cut to right to the chafes. Chef, butler, good. Chef's an asshole, but he's clean. Uh, butler, he's... he's, he's uh, what is he? What? Is, the this is incorrect. Uh, Butler. He's an okay he, guy. No, he's a new guy. That's what the line mm -hmm. actually is, but it's so hard to hear. Butler, he's a new guy, also an asshole, but he's clean. This was meant to be. Uh, this caption is incorrect. I'm sure someone will fix that right, right soon. He's a new guy, also an asshole, but he's clean. Yeah. So this is just this is uh, the chef's way of being like, I didn't do shit. Uh, I am innocent. Stop that. I wouldn't have it any other way. There was more dialogue that we recorded there, but it didn't fit to what I wanted to show there. Uh, and then that cool, creepy shot going out from there. So then uh, the chef's gone, and we move on to here. Uh, whip, that's a transition. Uh, this is a... Comp I want to mention, this window is not the same door that this window goes out of. Yep. As was evident when we left with the butler, you whip out of that door... That's not the same place as before. Now, that's the only time it's really obvious, though. This is the only time it's really obvious, but it's an important thing, so keep that in your mind. Why are things not making sense in this mansion? Keep that in your brain. All right, we can walk outside. It's very pretty. Uh, this lovely gazebo here was painted all black and very nice. Uh, so this dialogue here is just... I don't know. It's it's just the mayor talking about the loss and just being like, this is weird. It, it's also important to note, well, one, that was the only blurry shot, but it was the best dialogue. He's the only one that is actually concerned about what's going on here. The detective is to some extent as well, uh, but the mayor is the only one that seems to have like a genuine human reaction to it. That was important. That was intentional. We wanted him... Because I knew, I knew everyone was going to be like, he's dark and that's Wilford. It's, yeah, uh, you can't fool me. And that's what happened. Like, that is exactly what happened. Like, oh, look at this guy pretending to be so good. He honestly, like, Damien honestly, truly, did not know what was happening. Was really upset. The only one. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> About the broken bottle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, he knows he's supposed to be a leader. This is a mayor. Can't help but feel lost. We've been known for for years, since we were kids. So, they've been friends. He's been friends with kids. Uh, <laughs> 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 Keep He's been friends with kids. <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> he's been friends with Mark. With since, uh, they, since were they were kids. kids, in addition to the Colonel, the Colonel Mark and Damien have all been friends since they were kids. That's what he means by the gang, and that's why he means by it's good to have the gang back together. And that's you know, that's why honestly he's so distraught, and that's why he doesn't understand why the Colonel isn't distraught about this. Like, and that's what makes him upset, and hence why in the next episode, like, uh, the Colonel is avoiding him, you know, for other reasons that I'll get. I need to be alone. I can't process this. Uh, so then he goes off and transitions. This is a this is a nice whip, and you can barely tell. Whoop! That's two different shots. So very green. Very green. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of people noticed, but some people didn't notice. The colonel is right there. Uh, if you didn't notice, mm -hmm. he's there, looming, looming. like he do. Mm, you know, like he do. <laughs> yeah. 
This TV is also distorting the colors a bit, but for them it, it looks good. So, the body's gone. Dis fucking disappeared, bruh. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Disparred. What the? You can't pull fast one on me and no body there. What are you doing? There is no body. All right. Uh, who, who wants to take credit for... Um, the dick? Yeah, oh, that was 100% me. Yep, that was Ethan. Yeah, that was Ethan. Nobody else even try that. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, man. Thank you. Good yeah. job. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so the the video ends with this. So, um, this Did this I get the shape right. <laughs> really triangular yeah. shaped. A little more on the belt. <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway, so uh, so yeah, it's the same as my nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a normal I, thing? I always yeah. liked your other hand that just isn't there. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Just, yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, so that is the end of the first episode, and then we have the Uh Nothing else to go. There was on supposed there. to be so much more stuff. There was. We could still post it. I don't know if people care. BTS stuff um, was supposed to have so much we more. So we much BTS didn't stuff copy and then didn't it bring it, with, bring it us with us on tour. And I didn't back it up yeah. online, which was my fault. We were in a rush. Uh, tour came upon us much faster than we thought. Upon us. And well, we could uh, put it out if people want it. Yeah, well, we may. We, we have more BTS stuff if you guys want it. And then, oh, yeah, the gym pickup. We also had a 360 video. Yeah, we have a 360 video. But we didn't, oh, I forgot about that. didn't yeah. bring it with us again. Well, that wasn't the camera. Was the issue. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the camera was the issue. Yeah. But we could still do it. Um, okay, so that's the first one. But before we carry on, I want to, we are we got three more episodes to go and a lot more to talk about. But I want to go, um, we are raising money. Okay, all right. So, uh, Let's carry on with episode two, if everybody is ready at home. Your mic stands we don't squeak gym? like mine do. Uh, I mine think makes a squeaky noise. noise. We don't want to do gym it's the same exact one. Oh, do you want to look at the gym? Or do we want to do all the episodes and then all the gyms? We'll do all the gyms last. It's not <laughs> too canon. <Yeah. laughs> but it is a, a little important details here and there. Okay. That was my right. mic in the so this is actually the first Hello. episode that I, I finished. Uh, I worked on number two first. Because <laughs> it had the least special effects. Um, Who did this? Certainly not me. No. Yeah. no. no. This, is just, this is funny dialogue. Not like, me. Happy Wheels! Mm -hmm. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened between the last... He was the last person alone in the room and stepped out a few minutes to take care of somebody. Um, God, Nick, just with the line delivery. He had everything memorized. God, I, I, knew, I was scared because we put so much on the detective. Because we realized, like, with the first person thing. And honestly, like, this is the most true experience I could say of, like... Look at Mick's face. He anytime looks like you, a puppy. Anytime you pause with Mick in the scene, it's, it's great. Just look at his face. Just, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah but uh, <clears throat> so what we realized is like with the first person thing, we needed someone to be like a guide. If the viewer can't talk, then we got to have someone to think for them. Right. Um, and so that's what the detective acts as. The detective is basically um, the, the the the. I mean, the viewers, you you guys are able to draw any conclusion that you want, but the detective is the one that kind of guides your experience, and hence why the mayor later says maybe you shouldn't trust him because. It's just kind of assumed. What the hell happened there? The body's been moved. On its own? No, of course not. Unless it did. <laughs> then we got way bigger problems. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, ah. Uh, Tyler's a little gray. Tyler's a little gray, yeah. He's yeah. a little bit. Really darker player. <laughs> totally. Totally a dead person. That foot's pretty gray. His name is Mick with an M, not Nick. <laughs> Mick. Yeah. His comedic timing. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Just. What the hell happened here? Why would? On the stone. On the stone. So, uh, any important details? Well, the colonel's about to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of people pointed out. You can see the, the colonel, he pops in and out of existence I a love lot. the duck. <coughs> but, <coughs> like, um, 
He's not the only one to do that. He's just the most obvious. I like the most dangerous game reference. Yeah, <laughs> it's the most dangerous game. Yeah. It's just good. If you don't know what the most dangerous game is, it's about hunting people. It's about a rich guy. <laughs> they get bored Simpsons with hunting games. Uh, episode on the most dangerous oh, I, game. Oh, I bet there is, yeah. Wait, there's I'm, a what episode? There's a Simpson episode. Oh, yeah. Probably. During spook, spooky Simpson. Yeah. Okay, so. Don't know how to spell it out any harder. Somebody needs to put the old lad down again. Making him out to be like it's it's so painfully apparent. What is? How much the, <laughs> how much the colonel doesn't Apparently like not. Markiplier? I'm got <coughs> plenty of experience on the matter of killing Mark. Okay, just keep that in your brain. Hmm. Keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing up here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hmm. I think out of the entire oh, thing, Demon's Gym is my yeah. favorite oh, thing yeah. that's come out of it. Demon's Gym! Demon's Gym! <laughs> you were honestly spooked by it. <laughs> I was actually, we'll talk about that when we, when we get to the gyms, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't trust him, then again, don't trust anybody. Fucking, fucking chef. <laughs> All right. Um. So, we we wrote this obviously before we knew the location. So, but it's very convenient gate. that there's a front gate. Um. The the whole idea is we didn't want anyone leaving. That's the only reason we have these storytelling elements. Is we didn't want anyone leaving because otherwise it was logical that it was like, well, why wouldn't he leave? Hmm. Um, there's mysteries to be had. Locks won't keep people from getting out. Locks won't, but Chef will. That was a last minute adjustment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You guys took the script I wrote way differently, and so did Mick. Mm -hmm. I didn't have Mick talking to the butler in this line. The Mick, Mick was supposed to be talking to the viewer in this line, mm -hmm. but then he took it as talking to the butler. I'm like, oh, it's way better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's way better. Because we get like this magical moment that Tyler broke at. Uh, Mick every... broke two. The last time. You broke every other time. <laughs> I broke twice. He broke once. Mm, it was such a long scene. It was so <laughs> hard to yeah, shoot. Yeah. It was right at the end of this take. Yeah. yeah. And we didn't have a convenient murder transition. Oh. He's so, not uh, being laggy. He has it on half speed. Huh? People think it's laggy. Oh no! Wow. Yeah, it's half speed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so this this next sequence is where Mick again is the biggest hero. This is all one take. This was so much fun to film with him. Yeah. One. Just take. me and me and Mick having a, a nice, nice stroll <laughs> together. Yeah. Oh, magical. Why did he invite us? We're celebrating something, but he never specified what. Inviting everyone here. It almost as if the shindig of a hootenanny was just a ruse. Mm. This is not, like, they called him here for a reason not to his own. Uh, Mark was my friend, had been for years. Then he went quiet. I knew something was wrong, I just never figured out what. So they, like, the detective and Mark have been friends for a long time. Then he went quiet. <laughs> like, he had been estranged about the same time that Mark and uh, Mark, <laughs> Damien, and the Colonel all, like, broke their friendship. He lost contact with Mick as well. Then suddenly brought back, as in accordance with the security footage, only four days prior to investigate the people of the house. But the people of the house, besides the butler, have already been there. So he's just doing that to keep up appearances. Because of what Mark wants. We'll get to that later. Okay, never figured out what. Guess I never will. Oh, boo-hoo, he's sad. Okay. <laughs> Look, you're my new partner. I've been working with, not them, him, him, for years. We've been working with Mark for years. So Mark has always hired this detective to look into people that he needs to look into. That's where their friendship started. And then when they went dark, he stopped hiring him, stopped talking to him, stopped hanging out with him, whatever that is. That's that thing. Right. This is also the longest take to actually kind of see the layout of yeah. the place. Yeah. We had this intentionally long winding walk throughout this house because 
it was convenient to give you, the viewer, a sense of the whole place uh, from top to bottom without getting to, uh, so that you would know when things were weird. So this is, this is in the second episode intentionally. Like, this is where you can see the whole place. You walk from one end to the other, specifically just to give you a view of the house so that you can tell when something's a little fucky. So, and this is, makes so fine. Fuck. Good, good wink. okay, good solid wink. Pay yep. attention to that wink. Yep. It's a yeah. fantastic wink. That's a that solid is, wait, wink, wait, sure. Keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind. And oh, yeah. Let me put, yeah. I gotta okay. slow that down. And, uh, <laughs> Here it comes. And Get ready for here. it. Here it comes. And there it is. Oh. <laughs> All right. Keep that in your Solid. mind. Keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, wait, hang on. Let me get back to that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, this so is one of the first bits that we wrote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was this of like having a detective character. Where, like, you can't see their face, so it could be just, like, narration, but mm-hmm. it's actually, like, you can, it's just them talking out loud. Yeah, the thought no. process. This, he's really talking out loud. He's talking out loud. He thinks he's talking in his head. Because <laughs> he's a cliche detective that narrates everything that he does. Best to keep your enemies close, wink, wink. That's important. You don't look like you have a reason to kill them, and if you do, best to keep your enemies close. It's not just a funny line. It's important. Okay, now pay attention to this wink. All right, wait. <laughs> yeah, so good. Great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let, me, let me put it in super slow. Yeah. Oh, hang on, wait. Yeah, it's coming. There it is. Uh, uh. Let's count them. One, two, two three, three, four, four five. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Wow. Wow. So good. <laughs> The real question we should be asking is, wink. who stood the most to gain from Mark's yeah. death? Okay. Mark's dead. All right. So this is this is this is an interesting thing. In my third <laughs> analysis of the corpse's anal cavity, mm-hmm. he said he'd get to the bottom of it. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> nice. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. We have fun here. All right. Here we go. So he's been stabbed 37 times. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ouch. What happened? Oh, was it out? No, it's oh, just I just right. really watched it. Oh, the, the auto of that one is super weird. I don't know why. Nice. There we go. Okay. So, stabbed 37 times. Poisoned, beaten, strangled, drowned, shot, in that order. He said in that order, not all at the same time. Not even all at the same day. He, that's just happened to him. Keep that in your mind. We gotta keep a lot of things in our mind. Yeah, I saw someone yeah, keeping a tally. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. Things now, to keep that's a lot mind. of trouble to like to go through to knock off one guy, and it sure as shit is no accident. Mm. No. No, my friend, there's no simple b- b- t- t- clue reference. All right. Hmm. This this room is tan, by the way. This room is not blue, as yeah. it looks in this. Yeah. Shout out to Ethan. Okay, let's be also be clear. This is three minutes and 50 seconds from one minute, one minute and 54 seconds to three minutes and 56 seconds. That's one take. Yeah, that's wow. one shot. Fucking champ. That's just a, a shot. good old monologue. That's good a old walk and talk. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> I like the crib. What does yeah. the crib mean? <laughs> oh yeah, the crib thing. We didn't bring the crib. We didn't the crib bring was the just crib. there. Oh. Crib was there. None of us wanted to use that room, even though it was technically like the master. The master. Yeah. We were like, I don't want to be in the creepy crib room. I want a, <laughs> I want a small room. Robert was in the crib room. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> Bedroom booby trap. So a lot of people, uh, the fascinating thing, a lot of people I saw were like, this envelope! Well, what does that mean? <laughs> everyone I just gathered like, up all the yeah. trash I could find in the house. Yeah, that was just a bunch of trash. This is meaningless. It's just to represent clutter. But there is a negligee there that uh, probably no, Mark likes to wear. It's a, it's a, it's a wear. veil, technically. <laughs> a but veil, you know, it's, it? No, actually it's not. It's a, 
Doesn't matter. Is it a negligee? No, I mean, it's like a lace cape. So I guess if you wear nothing under it, then yeah. (laughs) All right. So this is where we kind of spell out the timeline of their friendship, right? We should talk about this. The original plan for this as well. What was the original plan? Let's go with the original plan first. Hold on. Remember? Because it was like, I forget what you wanted, but you wanted like photos of like Celine together with the colonel, which like, why would that be in Mark's room? Oh, why yeah, would that's he right. have that? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like on his shelf. Okay. So the three Benji. laughing, having a grand old time. No this is back before the split. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, there's an introduced person into the scene. Mark and Celine are together. Celine Colonel not happy. Mayor not happy. Who's missing? Colonel Ann. Sully. Keep that in your <laughs> mind. No. So, uh, the Colonel and Celine, they ran off, leaving these two were the only ones left. It's just a very simple story. One, three, four, two. Would have been two. useful to have another one. So I can count. count there. Three, three, four, two. Four. And then the smashed one is just to, just to paint the picture for why would this one be smashed and why would Mark have a smashed picture of the colonel. Man. Oh yeah, by the way, you don't see Mick sniffing your underwear. Mm. You no one can tell like oh, what No oh, everyone yeah, is yeah. like, oh he has the colonel's thing, but he's wearing it. Nah. No, that's, that's not what that's that is. Mark's underwear. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't guessed the butler's a little weird. Yeah. Butler. Also butler. I butler. No, he is pretty weird. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> butler's true. weird. This is not a cut. This is not a cut. Mm. I want to be very clear. This is not a cut, which is why it worked out very well. So this is a cut. <laughs> no, not a cut. Not a cut. What happened was this whole walk up, I was following in the colonel's outfit. Behind him, very closely, we turned around. When, when, before he turned around, I hopped off to the left. When he put it up there, I literally jumped into place and hoped to God I was fitting the picture well. It's beautiful. And it worked out. Yeah. Bully. 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 Yeah. Comes, wait, wait, here, wait, here, here, here comes, oh, wait, here comes, wait, wait, bully. Well, you there cut some go. of the bullies out. God. Yeah, I cut some of the bullies. There used to be more bullies. Too much bully. Okay, so, uh, he's just sounding crazy, but, you know, he just wants to get to know each other. Don't want anyone else to be there, whatever. Crying eyes or something. Okay, so, this is, this is also an important thing. He, you're on the second floor. You're on the second floor. No one really pointed that out. I guess You're I on the kind of first floor. Okay, I didn't even <laughs> think that the, the that was relevant. No, yes we did. We talked about that. We wanted to give a, a sense of loss, like that the house didn't make sense. Because hmm. we could have gone down the stairs and gone outside. Like Yeah, yeah there was yeah. like a staircase. Mm-hmm. Or something. I just didn't ever connect. I didn't think that those were relevant. Yeah. Yeah. The laws of physics do not apply. The laws of <laughs> physics. Well, I thought don't it was just like a simple way to get house. to a different. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's also convenient. It's yeah. it's very convenient. Yes, but I also am doing a lot of dialogue. No, here. not Ethan needs to may pay more attention. That's not what this is about. <laughs> it's not about me paying attention. There also is like I I have thought like a lot of like through threads connecting together a lot of the story, and I have not always shared sure. it with everybody whenever I think about it. Because you haven't, com- you didn't commit for a long time to like. No, you? Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't commit for a long time, and even to up till the last day of shoot, even up till the last <laughs> shot, I didn't commit. Not come on, Ethan. No, it was the you day. Use it was the last as a day transition of the shoot. All the time. We're like, we got one more day. We gotta get a lot done. Let's go to Starbucks. And you're like, guys, I rewrote the ending in my head just now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Again, yes. that's not. You, you're simplifying it. Duncan. What I know. What, what I did. Duncan, Amy. We no, were no. Duncan specifically. <laughs> Context matters. What happened? I, I was off to the side. I was like, Amy, I gotta think about something. I'm gonna go over here and think about it. And then I was like, Amy, can you come over and listen? If the, well, is this yeah. crazy? And I was like, if this is crazy, we don't have to do it. But no, I think I this would work better. And then you were story. like, hmm, I'm not so sure. I'm like, what if we change this, this? And you were like, oh, that is better. You know, I was and saying was that, like, but usually I'm just like, I don't yeah. know. At that point, like, it was so yeah. fuddled. I was just like, I trust you on this. Like, yes, yeah. that makes sense. Okay. Not, that, like, like, nothing Amy, was happening. Amy would just come over and be like, so there are some changes, but he's really excited about it. <laughs> so <laughs> hear him <laughs> out. Yeah. Because the unfortunate thing is, like, we had our brainstorming session all together, and then I, in like Your a... brain kept going. Well, in, in, in like a 
seven <laughs> hour sprint. I wrote the entire script mm -hmm. and then I made changes as my brain thought was necessary during the time. And then as we got to, the, that's why we had a big writing session together yeah. so that everyone was on the same page. And the, But <laughs> and I kept going. The ending was the hardest thing to mm -hmm. land, but the ending I'm super happy with okay. how it turned out. So, uh, but the point is, you were on the second floor, you're on the first. The colonel jumps around all over the place. Why? Why did you, when you were walking with him, suddenly appear all the way over here? Is it him, or is it something else? Hang on. Keep that in your mind. Is that the Mark pool the hasn't pool? aged a day. I love that sentence. The pool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Has an age date. Yeah. What it, what he's inferring to is that the colonel knows this pool, like he knows it. Mm. Oh, amazing, amazing. amazing. <laughs> this amazing. took hours of me, like God. It took like an hour straight of these two freaking whips oh, in that. Only because they were fine. The only they were I didn't they want me to say bully. You said all that time because you're like, I don't like the bully. I didn't. I <laughs> wanted me to just jump in oh straight because at first when we shot it, I said bully and then Geronimo, but I wanted me to just go straight into Geronimo. Look at this hat. So I had to fiddle Hats. with the transition. <laughs> I love the hat. But it looks yeah. good. It does. I'm not saying it doesn't look good. And that old timey bathing suit. Mm. Yeah, those were a great job. I yeah. had to manually like crop, zoom, do all the shit. Well, this was scary because we had to do it at the right time of day to get the lighting right yeah. to match. And, we, we still and also, then yeah. you were going to be soaking wet, so we're like, okay. We didn't do anything after we yeah. did this shot. We so shot these good. two separate days, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and then we accidentally overexposed these shots. Yeah, it turned out okay, though. It turned it was out. It's glowing. Fun. Yeah. He's beautiful. Like the angel. The sky doesn't exist because <laughs> Dark, dark applier or whatever. Yeah. This guy, it's gray. That, we were lucky yeah. that it was overcast every day. Those stones yeah. are kind of gray on the wall yeah, there. You think those are dark? Could be dark applier. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> bully. Cause he, oh, that was, I said bully there. I didn't want uh, to say that bully. Makes sense. That Life needs a bit. There it is. Yeah. There it is, oh, guys. Yeah. The water God, the mustache. God, look. Life needs a bit of madness. Oh, oh my God, your mustache. That was the thing that you wanted me to keep up here. Yeah, there you oh, go. Keep that one up there with the other one. Someone made a um, gift set on Tumblr. So huh? Someone made it a gift set. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that completely destroyed that mustache and we only had one. Oh, yeah, the water. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. bad. Oh. You can't tell, though. It was horrible up close. Thankfully, the really viewer gross. never got in kissing range, but it was, uh, it was disgusting. It was like brushing it and like straightening it and uh, like... But I, was, I didn't want to melt it, so yeah. like... It's yeah. just synthetic. Uh, host had a great deal of enemies. This is just him host. saying he's an asshole. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what about the host? <laughs> no host. But we're seeing with our eyes. We're seeing with our eyes. Try not to rob me blind! <laughs> host! Not the host. Okay, so uh, the people who worked for him might have reason to stab him in the back. He's expressing anger here, considering uh, it's basically just saying that either the colonel worked for Mark at some point, or he owes Mark, or some kind of like relationship where he's subservient to Mark in the past. He's a tough son of a bitch to work for. Oh, and by the way, I saw a comment. Someone is asking, "What does bully mean?" Bully. Good People question. who don't know what bully means. What um, does it tell them? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, my understanding, it's a, kind of an exclamation of like a positive sort of thing, like, like this is great, or yeah. fantastic, or, yeah. you like know. Like a celebratory. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. I, I don't know Holy. who first did it, because it's in, you know, it's in a lot of movies, but I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know if it's like actually a Teddy Roosevelt beef. said it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely old timey for it's sure. it's also corned beef. Also corned beef. <laughs> okay, well, great. Corned beef. All right, the old golf course. He he used to be here. Is Look how point. speedy he is. I know this is half speed, but he's so quick. Wow, he's just racing down. Sprinted. <laughs> I sprinted. There he goes. Go. And I have to oh. sprint and keep my hat on. <laughs> that was a tough thing. Okay, Colonel Whip. Oh, super exposed. This was a horrible shot. Also, we everyone's had like one gimbal as well. We yeah, that's right. Because Ethan and Mick were filming the long interior shot at the same time, so we did this gimbal. List. Everyone was like, "Look, the background's all fucky. He's dark." It's just because I had to stabilize it with yeah. software instead of having a gimbal that was using it. Ah. So mm -hmm. uh, the point to make is, Mayor's trying to cast doubt on the detective because no one's questioning why he just took. It in, and also the mayor doesn't know the detective, so he wasn't the detective wasn't part of like their trio. But your hair has gold in it. 
Wait, hang on. Let's slow Important. down. Wait. Uh, the host. Th their host. <laughs> I even gold is red. This is the tips that are left over. All right. Mm, Just the tip. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unneeded. Oh, Tyler, you're completely off. All right. Uh, we can only assume that the killer who struck down our dear friend Mark was with us last night. I'll stake my life on the innocence of the colonel and myself. I want to say the same. This just shows that the mayor trusts the colonel a lot. Um, he is of the mind that the colonel, uh, he, of whom he knows, like, so he, he can only point fingers at someone else. This is still when we were casting doubt on anyone who could be the murderer. Because the colonel basically spelled it out in the beginning, and now the mayor's like, no, can't be, couldn't have been. All right, counting skills, mayhaps. Can I just Mark, I have a question. Yes. Is the that ribbon that the mayor wears, is that, like, is he obligated by law to wear that? Because <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who's, like, wants to kind of sort of, you know, put out there, like, I'm the mayor, like, look at me, in I'm wearing the ribbon. In my head, that was just, like, I don't know why. I, like, when I thought of, like, a stereotypical, like, old-timey mayor, I'm like, he's got a... I, right. don't, I got a ribbon. I don't know. Well, to be perfectly honest, without that ribbon, how would you, I? I'm just wearing a tux. Yeah. Right. right? But uh, yeah. clearly, He's the mayor. The mayor. <laughs> yeah. You see someone who's like, "Hey, what are you do?" Oh, <laughs> Mr. So mayor. Mr. Mayor. Oh! <laughs> Both of the cameras went down. <laughs>
It's so three, good. Oh, yeah. Three is my favorite episode by far. So oh, There's so much Pam in it. So <laughs> Celine is the, the seer here, and she just walks in on the scene. You've seen her already in the picture. Oh, Isn't hello, neighbor. your favorite game. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Terrible game. <laughs> anyway, hello, neighbor <laughs> can die. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Celine's just here and suddenly is like, I'm so glad before it got any worse. This is like the tip <laughs> of the iceberg. Okay, hold on. Finger. I love the weird pause. Tip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, it's quite a at, in this scene, we were just like running it through before actually shooting every scene. We would just walk through it. So I'm going to be filming. <laughs> I happened to be filming on my phone. I was doing a lot of really intense oh, zooms. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And as he put his finger up, I zoomed in on him and put his finger up. It was so funny. I probably had that. The all best before. zoom you've ever had. Just post it's it right so down to funny. Twitter or something yeah. if you can find it. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, one. But yeah, the chef just. God, Robert Rex just delivered this line. So for, also, Robert had his Apple Watch on the whole time. Amazing. I never noticed. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, put this <laughs> <laughs> God, it's so funny. Oh. Dead like my hopes and dreams. Because, like, yeah. like, we came up it's with like the idea, the, and then, you know, I wrote the words, <laughs> and it's like, oh, this is weird. Then he just says it out loud. The whole homo necrosis bit. This is my favorite. Like, it's this, every good. time I saw this, made me laugh. So like, just funny. the hence the it's guns. It's not hence the guns. <laughs> And just like the ladle coming in, just the <laughs> ladle. <laughs> yeah. Can we also like, 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 can we talk yeah. a little bit about the chef's hopes and dreams? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. something that I'm, I okay. sort of am hung up on. A little Canon. Bit. All right. Yeah. So the chef, is hopes, I don't know. He's been cooking in this place for 25 years. That's his only like life. What? I'm just trying to fix it. Yeah. I can I can manually set it. But uh, the the chef, the chef is um, just this. Uh, bleeding heart just want, wants to provide for his family I guess mm. I, I don't does know he have a family? does he have a family yes. is that canon yes absolutely okay. and they're all dolls in his <laughs> oh, in his trailer oh, that he lives in here it is I found it do you think like maybe he had a failed ladle business or something or? Mm. maybe wait everybody hold on wait I, I wanted to put the volume on okay <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's so funny. Dooms are not comedy. Um, uh, dooms are totally comedy. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> chef uh, had hopes and dreams, wanted to aspire to be a sh TV chef or something, and then uh, had mm. was stuck in a mansion for ages just because he had to make ends meet. Probably one in his own restaurant. Stereotypical yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. 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 his Very hopes sad. and dreams are dead. It's too fast. So many people. Yeah. Anyway, and just carry around ladles. For the record, he's a good chef. He was chopping up that sketty. Yeah, he was chopping up that sketty. That's true. Okay. And Where's worse yet, it was in the bar. The body was missing. Sorry. <laughs> what? Show me. I'm just proud of this whip because I didn't have to be there as the colonel. But I am, like, just for continuity's sake. Like, just because, just a little bit. You see it in the whip. Mm hmm Does the mayor consider his cane as just sort of, like, an ornamental thing or, like... It's a, it's a <laughs> sign of his status as a mayor. Right. The amount of times you for, almost forgot yeah. about the cane. Yeah. You don't always need it. I mean... That's true. Do not see the lightning... <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you're, you're kind of going for like a Monopoly man. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what we're going for. All right. So I want to say this is very important. Everybody Limpy listen very closely. Lenses. Very closely. Very closely. It is in your mind. The colonel was in Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in your mind. <laughs> Keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind. The force is far beyond our control. Okay, so what I want to point out here is uh, something that I, I like, it's, it's hinted at later on after the fact, but why is the seer able to walk in and suddenly command the entire situation and everyone just starts to trust the seer? Because it's Pam and I trust her with my life. Exactly, but Pam should you? Yes. <laughs> okay. We're yeah. a dog. Doc with a C. I love this whole sequence. 
hilarious malarkey. That's a good face shape too. Off of me. Oh yeah, wait. Now let's see if I can. Let's see if can I can. Can we just yeah. really slow down that malarkey? So good. Every frame of Big Spoon. His eyes are smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling for sure. God, Tyro would be proud. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Okay. And to you. So yeah. And then Tyler's. All right, I want to take. I want to talk about the fifteen takes we did for this. <laughs> <All right>. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've no, no, been I, fine with the accent. I it would have worked. You I don't have to say, say Marco. A thing. <laughs> wow. I'm. I'm just very. very I wanted to little. say how proud I was of this take and how Tyler did. Okay, so Tyler had to do this <laughs> like thirteen times because it not, doesn't have to have that Marco ring to it for it to work. Because you say Marco Polo. Yeah. Marco. It, no, you don't Polo. always you don't say Marco like that when you play Marco Polo. How do you it's say Marco? Yeah. How do you Marco? say it? Marco. I say Marco Polo. Yeah. You're calling out. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, if if you're just otherwise you're just kind of saying Marco like, but in, like, in the exact context Marco it didn't Whoa. have to be that way. Yeah, Marco and then the th Whoa. What? Oh, well, oh, 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 well, that's a oh. game changer right now. You can, oh, oh. you can move it. All right, around. well, we'll put it, put it right mm. back where it was. <laughs> that's probably for the best. All right, anyway. So then the thunder strikes <laughs> twice because it's just like, oh, 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 it's a funny goof. Okay. Um, so darker than anything we've ever seen. Uh, this table bit, uh, was hilarious. Untrained and uninitiated, can someone landing with a mere word? We're gonna have to work together to survive this. Uh, so, oh, we shot the mayor one after this one. <coughs> I love the whole zombie bit. Like, it's just, really funny. Maybe one of those smart zombies. Oh, me or sapio zombies. Uh, but as far as like a technical aspect, uh, or story wise. Mm, story. Yeah. I don't know. I like the water bottle. Oh yeah. yeah, water bottle, mm. broom. And the broom from the previous. Thing. And you can see the light sometimes, but that's alright. <laughs> There's lights in that one. Ba, 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 ba. Pam was amazing, also. A don't strong, need independent yeah. strong, independent strong, independent woman. Strong, independent woman. Wait, blap. <laughs> My favorite, just this. Oh, by the way, these are I blended two takes from this one. Mm. Yeah. Just because, like, I loved like some, like this little bit here. <laughs> And then this take better of the delivery. Um, also, pay attention. Celine suddenly is able to turn everyone against you. Mm. Suddenly. Obviously. Except for one person. Bring those rags. Rags, the host. This the host. My, this is my favorite thing. I, yeah. <laughs> everyone kept laughing at this. I, I didn't find it as funny, but everyone was like, this is... This That's is really funny. funny. I lost this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pass. yeah, but but as far as like a point is, the seer is manipulative. The seer is mm. able to like convince people and gain their trust very easily. Anyway, it's just like one of those people where when they say something with enough confidence, you will second guess <laughs> yeah. anything you know. It's yeah. Like, mm, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Urgh. It's a rather it's a rather sadistic smile for an agreement, but it's 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 like the whole concept is you don't know Celine and yet she vamps you up. She's like, "You're very special. You're special. You're special. You're special." That's what I need. You're special. Yeah, that's what we. That's what, we that's want. what people need. Yeah. I won't stand for. You can't really see it, but the camera whips away and then. Like, Mick and I have like a standing up <laughs> distance contest. You can almost see it like in the in like the corner of it. We like bop up and down a little bit. <laughs> you can kind of see it. It's super funny. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem natural. Everyone's kind of like, wait a minute. Yeah, no one was gonna, no one was gonna like say anything. They kind of like go with it until the colonel like, or the detective questions it. I love the dude in the background. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's watch. What is he holding? Yeah. He's apple still got the, <laughs> the gold. No, no, that's not the gold. That's his that's Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's like a tomato or something. 
Oh, yeah, we might have balanced the... You guys can stand outside the and watch, but my work cannot be interrupted. And eh, I wondered why. And then the detective's creepy again. Especially in myself. Especially in myself. Especially in God, it's so great. Yeah. So the, great. And then the dog <laughs> just like so subtle. Wait, it's looking look pretty gray there. Should we go over there? <laughs> That's a good point. I don't yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Right. So, so this is just an emotional yeah. appeal. See, the mayor's oh, still, the mayor's, <laughs> ma- mayor's still all like, blah 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 blah. blah. I'm, uh, you must be upset because Celine obviously had a relationship. Celine and um, Mark, Mark Blair were married. They Mark Blair specifically <laughs> like, in this universe, they were married. Like they lived in this house together. She came along. They married. Then suddenly the colonel steals Celine away from Mark. No. Or, you know, you can't steal someone. It's like, yeah. Mark, Mark, or that's how Mark saw it. But Celine and the, the colonel rainbows. run off together yeah. and leave Mark behind. <laughs> More to this world than I can ever imagine. Just have my eyes open. A small portion of it. Like. The mayor sure does take care. I hope so. There's a big push for that, I think. I don't want it. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, we're just making it. transition. This was very important because this is like between day and night. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> when when you go over here, things take a turn for the worse. The music here was something I I, I, I don't remember who made it, but it was something off of a uh, epidemic sound, and mm-hmm. it was just this wonderful, wonderful cool. piece yeah. that really, really uh, pumped it up. The, also, hey, wait, can we now. back up real quick? Yeah, real, real quick, a little further, further back when it transitions into this. The color correction that oh. Ethan did from that to this for it to be like night and kind of creepy, but not like spooky world yet. Like if you do yeah. side by side next to that and like the original, it's crazy. So we should good. pull some of that original footage. Yeah. yeah, like the GoPro stuff. I don't know how you. You do know how it. those like yeah. making of videos where they kind yeah. of do overlays oh, we can do one like of those. layers. Yeah. They, yeah. they pump up the layers. Dark. Or they yeah, do the like shadows. slides back and yeah. forth. Oh, we can do that. Halfway. Yeah. Shadows on the wall. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had the so big good. lights coming up from the the first floor, uh, and then they're to light it up a little. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we had to make a fake this wall here because we're like, shoot, we don't have a, a sear room. <laughs> yeah, we had to put up a black curtain that was the quote unquote wall. It worked. Because oh no, no, it's great. Yeah, no, it looks totally fine. We needed the door to open out. Yeah, we needed the door oh, to open spooks. outwards, mm-hmm. which was like the main issue with this. Yeah. Shout so out then, to that uh, that tarot draw. Yeah, who did the tarot cards? <laughs> that was me. I saw people like you know. Yeah. Those are stuff. those are real. Like the real, placement. Real genuine no, draw. No, the placement is intentional yeah. for its meaning. Like it's not randomly associated. I didn't get to do like a full like proper spread, but I was just like, you can't just put random ones up there, Amy. You need these <laughs> and at least these in this order. And people saw it. They're like, this is really on the nose, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, huh. yes, it is. I like the magic eight ball. That's my favorite part of this. Yeah. The lighting, Ethan. The practical lighting on this, too. Yeah. Very nice with the green. So, she's saying, I'm not sure we want to kill Mark, but something tells me this significant event is just a footnote. That's just to say, like, Mark's death in this is not the main focus. Like, the whole point of who killed Mark Blair isn't necessarily about the who fact that Mark Blair, Blair was killed. It's more of, oh, that's what we're going to name the stream. Why does Markiplier <laughs> is killed? He's dead. Yeah. Why does Markiplier is dead? Yeah, it's, it's what the detective said in the last episode. He said, why? Why was he killed? Why was, what's the why of all of this? Like, why would he be killed? Why would anyone kill him? If, if like, if, if, you know, he was trying to get everybody back together and mend things, why would he want, you know, any of this to happen? I've never been very comfortable in the house. This is sewing. She's lived here before, obviously, if she was married. Now that my eyes are open, dark forces surrounding her. After she left, she got started dabbling in dark arts and stuff like that and started looking into... That's what she meant by she had her eyes open to a small portion of it. She started learning about, like, the why. Because if she lived here, when she lived here with Mark originally, she, uh, she noticed that this house was off. She started noticing it. She didn't grow up in this place like everybody else did. She just noticed it, and she wanted to know more. She was curious. Um, 
And then again, she wanted to know the why of it. So uh, this cookies? this Ooh. moment, uh, this is where like special effects start to get heavy. Amy, Amy. did this, so and good. it was awesome. Look at those crinkles. Like just more the, importantly, the thing, all the burnt paper. Is I yeah. guess like what it would be. Because all the yeah. paper and all these are burnt, not for any reason. It's cause it was oh, cool. hold on a sec. We got to talk about this. Oh, yeah. The candles. Okay, oh, yeah. God. We should do a smash cut of that, too. All right, watch the candles. Wait for it. I don't even know if you see them in this, now that yeah. I think about it. Yeah, yeah I don't think so either. A little yeah. bit. Yeah, okay, because we wanted, the original plan was that you, like, whooshed back really quick. Yeah. So we had Catherine, like, fan the candles, so they whooshed uh we did it so many times, times. Yeah. and so it would many. just it would work so inconsistently yeah. with the same motion yeah. just like why and and all so the these are all like clips that you've seen but they're all different takes of those clips so they're uh -huh. like slightly off mm -hmm. yeah so it's it's all different clips and what that's trying to suggest is that you know when you're looking into the past or future like you see alternatives like different or, or I'm not saying literally you see yeah, it, but cause, like, just... this shot is the one where like you see the colonel up in the corner, but here you like look up at him. You yeah, know? like when you it's, like, your memories are different. Your memories are never exactly yeah. what occurred. No, no, it's not memories necessarily. It's it's know. like when your clairvoyance stuff. Like yeah. you you see paths that could have been like alternate versions of events. Like even in the future, when you're looking in the past and the future, like things don't always match up. But it's similar to the memory thing. Like, things aren't always the same. These are, like, this is clearly an event that takes place <coughs> in the future, and even this is different than what actually happened. And conveniently, I mean, we had multiple takes, so we used that. But the, the use of it was intentional, because we could have done the exact same ones. Um, and then I put, I put one frame in here. Uh, I don't, I think everyone got the gist of it, but I don't know if anyone caught the actual frame. There's a frame <laughs> in here. A juicy frame. Just one. You missed it already. And I'm going, hang on. Hold on, your horse is weird. I'm just know. so excited about it. Le flap, not here, not there. Ah, oh, damn it. Missed yeah, it. Missed it. Anyway, it's, it's, it's one frame where the coloring is the exact same as the Dargablar that you know, or that everybody Chromatic knows. Evolution. Chromatic Evolution. Ah, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's there. So someone else can scrub through on something that's not on YouTube, but it's there. <laughs> so, blah, yeah, yeah, right there, we saw it. So, like um, for the cords again. so Celine is very much of the mind that she's like, very, you know, intense about this. Love she it. she wants what she wants, and she won't let anything get in her way. She's trying to look for <coughs> the reason That's of so like Quill. both both the why of Mark was killed, but also uh, also she wants like she wants to understand this house more. That's always been like an interest to her, um, which is why you know she came back during like this weird time. This doesn't answer anything, and also she has temper. <laughs> Much like someone you know. So what the shit did you do? We filmed this at like one in the morning. It was oh, so God, late. Yeah, it was yeah. Very late. Oh yeah, all of this stuff was so late to film mm. that. Yeah, we were That um, was a long at, day. Like, eight or nine every day and then not in bed until like four. There's one day I wasn't day. in bed until six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then they come out here, and then this is where things start to unravel. This uh, was but the worst thing ever. This <laughs> shot was beet red. It was fucked. It, it was but it wasn't so even bad. red. It was just like Pepto Bismol. It was, it was yeah. like everything oh, wow. blended together. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was so bad. Map empty. Well, it looks beautiful now. Yeah, Shout out to uh, Red Giant Software. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to them. Um, I don't know what to talk about for this. Uh, it's pretty cut and dry, I guess. Hmm? Are we back to half? Uh, I think this is. Half. I would say this equates more to kind of the relationship between mm -hmm. the butler and the chef. Of they don't, they put up with each other, but they don't like each other. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so then they come back after the murder, and Selene's like, don't say that word, his argument is getting us nowhere. Selene's like, Selene, Selene doesn't want Damien's help. I mean, they know each other. Uh, Amy, what do you think? Remember, remember what I told you about this? What? About what? Like, I don't. I don't know what you're asking. She doesn't want anything. About their uh, their relationship to each other. I mean, I don't think that you ever really committed to anything. I know I didn't, but <laughs> there's one that I wanted to. Uh, I don't know. My They're my friends. They don't. my inclination is that Damien and Celine are brother and sister. They dress similarly. Uh, they have dark shades of black like there's no like there's no again it's like the thing i said at the beginning i don't believe in anything that is uh not in the story if it's not said here then who cares but um my my inclination is that they are siblings whereas like i'm not too convinced that the colonel and mark in this universe is our siblings i am very much leaning towards the aspect of these two yeah siblings. that was an issue that we kind of like because, you know, we didn't know how people would react or interpret episodes until we, like, started releasing mm -hmm. them, but it's not like we could reshoot. Yeah. And we realized that people were, got more, like, relationship vibes from them mm -hmm. than any of the other characters. And we're yeah. like, no. Yeah. yeah. The other ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. But e even even yeah. more than that, like, it's, it's just something that, again, uh, it's just in my head, and it yeah. doesn't have to mean a damn thing, but... In my head, and and in the version that I went into it, like, I, or, or at least went out of it before it got released, was that they are, their siblings. Mm. So I but. like them as just like best friends. Yeah, they're you know? close. Like when your best friend starts dating someone, and then you become closer, and it's like, no, 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 I'm dating that one. They're like, they're my best friend now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's like okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. So Damien's hurt. Uh, We're and it's all like. In this. Together. That's kind of what I'm getting from <laughs> this. <laughs> so, Celine originally doesn't want his help because the reason Celine wanted the viewer's help is because she didn't know the viewer and practically expended it. <coughs> you know what I mean? So then, uh, they're staying there. The de oh, wait, the detective's line. Finally. Fine. <laughs> yeah, good. Whatever, who cares? Are you coming with me? Then the colonel is off in his room. Whatever, it's just an excuse. So I don't have to change costume. They go off, and then the last thing you see is them going into that room together. Blam. Also, the butler stays inside for a while. I love that line. Has been three weeks of culinary school? Yeah. 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 Let's go. This so shot, you said. Well, so this was being up. filmed. I was off making my own mistake. <laughs> that would come back to play in, up in chapter four. Yes. Uh, what was that? It's getting the GoPro harness mark. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it. That's not an extension. Look at that lighting, yeah. though. It's thin snake. <laughs> this way. Uh, so, George, uh, who was played by Chris Hampton, Chris Hampton uh, was wonderful, but he, he did what? every take very did you, slow. Did you say Chris Hampton? No, I said Chris Hampton. Hampton. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you said Chris Hampton. Got it, got it. Like, you got your predator? Yeah. <laughs> so, he did every take super slow, and, and it didn't feel right. But then I was just like, can you do it? like 50% faster and then we got this beautiful take and I don't know why but everything he says is also hilarious which is perfect I think it's because thing. his head is too small for his head <laughs> his head's too small it's a tiny hat yeah so things start to go crazy the murder but the biggest mystery is like why why does it not lightning when George says murder What's the difference between George and every other character in this? Yeah, what's the difference? Chat, what's the difference? What's the difference, Ethan? <laughs> okay, so let me lay, let me lay it out. He's actually British. Let me let, let me let, let me 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 let
Okay. My British accent? D- take no. one. All right, so <laughs> let me lay it out for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. do that. <laughs> please, please don't. All right, so Chris is here, and he's always there, digging holes in the ground, right? Lightning is the sky's business, says the man, being Chris. <laughs> So when you think about it, the, the sky, the ground, the, the rain, the moon, the stars, they're all connected through that one man <laughs> right there. Therefore, the lightning is actually his business, but not directly, kind of like a cousin. <laughs> I like that, that made, version. That made, like, no sense. No, close, 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 <laughs> close. Uh, he's I'm outside. Close. Can I'll I, keep that in I my guess? head. Oh, uh, Question? Is it because he's outside? And he doesn't is that a go question inside? for me? Yeah. Is it because he hasn't been in the house in 50 years? Yes! He doesn't go in the house! The oh, house is the cursed! That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> no, <laughs> Ethan, you essentially said he's the god of lightning and decided to not. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty much what you it's said. But I'll give you partial lightning. credit. Go, go. Because you showed your work. <laughs> 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 he doesn't go in the house. It's been 15 years since I've been in that house. 50, 15. I said 50. I the think people. he's lived there his entire life. <laughs> I think he was born no, in the house. Born outside the line of the house. Had Sorry. said 50. He said 15. Yeah. No, I was just making numbers up. I didn't know. I took one that sounded like the right answer. <laughs> Did the line say 50? That doesn't matter. I created a discourse. Yeah, it's been a long time since he's been in the house. He doesn't go in the house. The people that go in the house have bad things happen to them. Mm-hmm. Mm, Why? Enough. The house is a character. I love it when yes! the Yes! Shout out to episode, I don't season know. one of American Horror Story. Everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the best season. It's this. Yeah. Hmm? It's American Horror Story oh. meets Clue. <laughs> uh. But the real question is, was he digging himself a grave? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, There's no room for where he was digging for a grave. Yeah, he was oh, going down. Standing. <laughs> it's a standing grave. I think he was having a fun day in the dirt. <laughs> fun day in the dirt. Oh, look at that. clearly said it was for a Oh, go back to that shot with the, the lightning in the sky. Yeah, look at Ethan. Ethan put in. Ethan did so good. Oh, look at that. So that cool. lightning in the sky. Oh, well, with diamonds. <laughs> that there's the reason. That there's, there's the reason. <laughs> I love his run in this. It's so funny. <laughs> well, when we were trying like, to find someone, see. Tyler put out like, we need an older man who can run. After, after saying <laughs> he's not a That was an important part. He no, needed to be able to run because there are plenty of old uh, guys that can't this, run. This right after he says he's never going to go in that house. This footage yeah. has been rendered so many times. It's yeah. not like it's a... I mean, it's partially a visual choice and like it being all crazy, but part of it is just. Ready and door. Oh. Beautiful Ooh. woman. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Amy, uh, I had to hand track all those. Yeah, Amy did this one. Uh, I just followed her chin the entire time, frame by frame. Yeah. So, mm. well, as a lot of people point out, ooh, chromatic aberration. But what. It looks like she has giant lips. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what she's not. So a lot of people were curious as to they they kind of started to catch on as to what's going on, but what like the question was was this dark fire the whole time or was this like what is this the way uh, in 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 the vision that we had or I hadn't didn't tell anybody <laughs> is this is the moment she's possessed no we all agreed on that yeah. she's possessed at this point she is very clearly dabbled with something that was far beyond her control and she went too far. Damien was in that room with her when that happened. This is where things went bad. Very, very bad. Okay? Makes sense? Yep. Cool. Dunzo, dunzo, all makes sense. Look at that smile. Mm. Wait, hang on, let me go back. A smile. Mm. Shooty. Malicious. <laughs> shooty? <coughs> there it is. Oh. Oof, that's creepy. 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 Like creepy. So good. <coughs> this was also 4 a.m. or something. Yeah. All right. Ooh. That's the end of chapter three. Yeah, I remember doing that last shot where we were, the sequence before you guys went outside and how tired Rex and I were. Rex was on the stage and he was like, 
I'm going to pass out. Huh. And I'm like, Doozy. here, have some food and water. <laughs> have some more of that warm keg. Mm. <laughs> um, but anyway... So anyway, uh, George, um, he's just that wise and old character. A lot of our, a lot of this stuff is just filled with cliches and plot holes. Uh, <laughs> so it, it's it's more over like he's the guy that's been there long enough, seen what he needs to see, knows to stay away, but also has this small sense of duty to mm -hmm. stick around because not only like the job's good, he lives there, but also you know mm -hmm. he he just has a sense of worth to try to like act as a protector of sorts. Also, him and the chef are good friends. Chef always brings uh, George meals every night, and they hang out and talk, because those two characters have been at this house the longest, more than anyone else in this entire series. Uh, George has been there the longest, then second is the chef, and then it would be Mark and Colonel, then Damien in and out, and then Celine later, and then Butler and the detective. Butler and then detective. Because detective... No. Detective would have been there before. Yeah. yeah. Detective, butler... Whatever. Not that that matters. Timeline of that doesn't matter. Timeline doesn't matter in anything. <laughs> okay. Carry on. Wait. I have another... Well, this, this is... But, uh, what happened to Damien at the end? Where's Damien at the end of episode three? He was in the room. Okay. Well, some people were like... She was possessed, and she killed him in the room. Where was he? Yeah. She didn't kill him. No. 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 So that's, that's what I was saying. What happened to him at the end of episode three? We'll cover that in this episode. <coughs> Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this episode um, it was rewritten so many times. <laughs> not, not all of this, but the ending of it and this last bit. Oh, fuck off. Hello, neighbor. Goodbye, neighbor. Ew. All right. So, <laughs> so George is like, she's gone, everyone else is gone, everyone's gone, get out while you can. Like, that's pretty much all he's ever said. He sticks to his message. He's done his job, and he, he kind of knows it's too late now. <laughs> anyway. It's too late now. Too late for Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to show this one because this one's hilarious. Those are my parents in their Halloween costume. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's really All right. Bad. It just made me laugh because my dad's head reminds me of Homer Simpson. Mm. <laughs> I think he's going for Minion. No. Oh. Homer Minion. <laughs> <laughs> Such that it is for all of us here. Mm. Such that it is. Such that it is. <laughs> <laughs> I should have taken my leave. Okay, so uh, George, he's he's outy. He doesn't want anything to do with it. He came, he did what he came to do, and he's out. Bye. Colonel. Bye. Bye. Colonel is looking out for Celine and Damien, wondering where the heck they are. <coughs> if everyone's leaving and not saving them, like he's going to be the only one that so sticks around. Fingers. Like he's the only one that cares, apparently. Now. Suddenly. Because he's actually got people to care about. Juxtapose that to his reaction to Mark's yeah. death. Very that guy. Yeah. <laughs> hat wobble, hat wobble, hat wobble, yeah. Little hat wobble. Little hat wobble. Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't touch me. I'm bad. Doink. Doink. Okay. Next up is the greatest scene in the entirety of the series, and it was all about Amy. No. Amy did yes, every no. ounce of it. It yeah. is astonishing. Beautiful. It is amazing. It is Netflix beautiful. quality mm. level special effects. No, it would have been if we had placed trackers when we were filming it. Well, there we, was just like there was no way to track some of the rooms. How did we know? How could I, we have? Known? I know. Well, we did know. How could we? Yeah. If we had placed little spots on the walls, then I could have had vines growing out of the walls. So this is oh Amy. cool. Well, not this part. This this one I tried to track and it just kept destroying my computer. Mm -hmm. So. This one is in here because it's necessary, but not because it's good. I just love well, that hey, when you looked up that. Now we know for it. next time. Now we a, know. It was a big old. See, this part would track. Oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. cool. Whoosh. Yeah, this is the coolest Amazing. thing. Amazing. I like this so one. This cool. one's cool. Yeah, yeah so, so the you would like track 
the whole 3D space, and then you place the particles and the fog, which you can't really see after everything. But there's also fog that's 3D tracked. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can see the fog, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And then a bunch of other stuff. Voice lines I just added in distorted. They're from various pieces all around, just to like up up yeah. the creep factor. Oh, look at that particle. Oh, oh there, there she goes. <laughs> Floater. <laughs> Dandruff. Floody. I'm so surprised awesome. these the caption people were able to yeah. get them spot on. And there's like a heart wave. Yeah. So, um, but the question besides all the beauty of it <laughs> is, why are you? Why is this happening? Why is this weird? Like, um, you as the viewer are walking around the house. Suddenly, everything is somehow frozen <laughs> in time. And you're moving. We should have had all the characters just like yeah. <laughs> mid pose. Yeah. What was that challenge? Mannequin challenge. Yeah. <laughs> you're hearing oh, a mannequin challenge. <laughs> you're, you're hearing a bit of the future and you're hearing a bit of the past. Um, because the first line is actually at the end of the episode. Um, you're in this weird nebulous state. You're still in the house, but something's not right. This isn't quite the world that Damien and Celine were in at the end, but it's the world you're in now. It's something bleeding over into this one. And then you get out of it, and you just look around and think not much of it. But then suddenly you're here. Like, you conveniently... Crazy room. Yeah. You conveniently go into here. Amazing. This is where Amy went crazy. So That's why it's called the crazy room. So for that transition of you going from upstairs to suddenly there, you went in a weird bubble world, and you appeared on the other side, and you didn't really question it. But where's this room been the entire time? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's or got no. glass doors. Where? You think you, you think would have seen, seen it at some point. We've walked by this room but tons. The house didn't yeah. want you to see it yet. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yes! <laughs> good! <laughs> Very good! It's like the room of requirement. It really is. Yeah. So, Clip why do you... Now, now copy this back to why does, uh, why does the colonel pop in and out everywhere? Do you oh, think you're know. the only person that's ever done this? Do you think anyone else in the house has ever experienced <laughs> this and then not questioned it? Or not remembered it? Or not mm-hmm. think about it? Like Ethan Andrews. Is this why the longer you stay in the house, the worse things get? Hmm. But then... <laughs> that's a cumulative a effect, effect, perhaps. A what? A cumulative effect. Exactly. Longer yeah. you stay. The longer you stay, the more fubbernook you is. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing is when people, like, were pausing and reading all of the text on these newspaper articles. Yeah, don't do, oh, don't yeah. do that. Don't yeah. do that. Uh, it ca- it's basically just like a word generator. I would Google, like, uh, safari, uh, murder, house, and then I would just copy and paste any news article and just change some of the names around. So it's, it's totally dummy text. Don't trust the seer. And I'm hard. Why we're up you know? <laughs> real late writing these. Catherine wrote all the funny ones. <laughs> Where? I was in a Fluid. mood. Why, though? Good stuff. No, I, uh, I like what happened to the other quarter of free quarter length I like Pam's sleeves. dab. Oh, yeah, that the was the dab good was good. Some of mine didn't make it in. No, there were some good ones that did not make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so, fun. Yeah. That took a while. <laughs> Wait, there it was... just says the colonel did it over and over again. They, they, somewhere in here is the spelling of the colonel the way people did at first, yeah. like with a K-E-R. Well, because I had typed it all out, and then I was trying to get pictures of Mick doing it, and I'm like, just keep typing whatever. So then he started typing garbage into yeah. it. Yeah. It's really hard to type on a typewriter. Yeah, you really got to press down. Yeah, I learned that. And you got to give plenty of time between. It was very convenient that this like little library room had lots of encyclopedias. Yeah. yeah. No, right, a lot of things this. was just pure. We could have one. Oh, we did! Take it out. No, what did we write in it? Yeah, you think we I, left one in that you house. You think I'm gonna appear behind that? If uh, anyone's ever in this house, uh, yeah, we look in all of the encyclopedias. Move, <laughs> dear. <laughs> we put a note in the encyclopedia. One of them, yeah. yeah. I don't remember what it said. It was probably something real cryptic that'll <laughs> freak someone out. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is the colonel's <laughs> motivation <laughs> here. <laughs> if I was gonna get into it. Um, he is angry, upset, trying to find Damien and Celine. Um, he appears out of nowhere again, here, 
uh, he looks around, and his confusion is he didn't know that the detective was investigating any of us. Like, he just didn't know. Um, and there's many Polaroids of him and Celine together. Like, uh, and, and so it's, his, his madness spiral is, he's looking at this instead of, like, evidence damning him, he's looking at it evidence damning the detective for, like, looking into everybody and, you know, getting, uh, you know, being the cause of all this. Like, he, he's the one orchestrating everything. He's the one who's caused everything to fall apart in the colonel's life. We almost didn't film this bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This walk up here, I was like, I don't know if we need it. We can cut straight to the next scene. And then... It's so important. Yeah, everyone was like, you you have to add this. So I was I was like, all right, we'll film it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But then it was so necessary, like, at the end of it. Because uh, in this one... That was my room. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> there's Pam's there's room. There's Pam's room. Yeah. His hand. It's like, it's not as, um... It's not as, uh... Oh, can we talk about the, the painting that we have to avoid in all of these shots? Oh, yeah, we can go back to that. Oh, do we? Yeah, it's yeah, that there. one. Um, oh, it's like someone boots? in the family no. or something. Uh, it's, it's like their like, Miss America portrait yeah. or something. Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. It's just like she a random woman. <laughs> it was yeah. really creepy waking up in the middle of the Well, it's just like very out of place. No. You want to know what's creepy, Tyler? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, no. I need to talk about this real quick. So, Ethan and I. We were roommates. Uh, they were roommates. Because we were doing it in like, the house, so it was like, oh, cool, we can be roomies and not have to be alone in this house. Uh, so there were, like, mirrors <laughs> in the room, but there was also, like, a little balcony mm. outside. And that, So essentially, if I was, like, lying down and someone went down that staircase, it looked like someone was walking behind Ethan. Oh, yeah. And I don't I, know how, it's like 10 mirrors <laughs> going every which way. That used to be the workout room. That used to be the workout room. Window reflections. So I'd just be like lying down, maybe <clears throat> gazing at Ethan's fucked up face while he slept. And then it would just look like <laughs> Tyler's like right behind him and I'd be like... <sighs> oh, yeah, because I went up and down the yeah. stairs a lot. Mirrors. So yeah, strange. in the middle of the night. I didn't like yeah. it. Okay, continue. Okay. <laughs> Well, I had to make sure the house was no. locked up because every single night we if didn't. I did it, <laughs> yeah, we the did. doors were wide open. Yep. <laughs> Fine. All right. So final scene, or not final scene, but final scene <coughs> in this uh, rampage. So the detective mm -hmm. is over there. We're over here. Stand off. <laughs> You're not my friend. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Time. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> you murder bird didn't kill anybody. This is madness. Um, he's just talking about That's stealing your best friend's wife, yada yada. Squeezing him for cash. Uh, so basically, all the detectives going on in this in this idea is the colonel owed Mark a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. Anyway, and, it used to be a major and the colonel point. stole. Yeah. Like Mark's wife. Well, wife. again, you can't steal someone's wife. They, the well, wife yeah. kind of has to choose. Yeah. Uh, what? Like, <laughs> uh, plotting the choice. death of your childhood friend because you can't handle the... The what? The, the what? <laughs> the truth. <laughs> the truth. Guilt. Uh, oh. oh, no. Intense droning music. Oh, Shooting. No. Shooty alert. Again, great he's face shooting. by make, great right. face by make. Oh, look at this transition. Me. This oh. color correction. The color correction on this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Ethan, you're the most amazing color corrector so I've cool. ever known. Because you're the only one that has one. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, look you. at those blood hands Whose blood Ethan. is this? Oh, oh, man. Oh, I hope none of that blood was, was on the This was my stunt clothing in the previous scene. Oh, no. oh, yeah. That blood stained the colonel's outfit. Did not yeah. too close. Because we shot it a little before. Ba -ba. We had a huge crash pad in there. It was super yeah. So, for so that fun. fall. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Time to talk about oh, the yeah. fall. Wait. Yeah. It was fun watching Ethan fall. Yeah. But more specifically. But more specifically, uh, I had to go back to check on my cat. Oh. And they were like, oh, can you pick up some equipment? And I was like, sure. Oh, the, oh yeah. And I grabbed a GoPro harness because they said we forgot to pack the GoPro harness. And I looked where they said it was, and I saw a GoPro harness, and it was late. We did say chest mount, but... Yeah. Yeah. It is a chest mount. It is. For the record. It is, it is technically. technically, yeah. 
and it was very late, and it was a long drive between the office and location, so I grabbed it and returned, and then nobody looked at it for two days, and then we went to shoot this scene, and we're like, that's a little weird, and it's like, that's because that's a dog, <laughs> GoPro, uh, mount. <laughs> yeah. That Woof. is, it works. That was to put Thanks. on a dog. <laughs> it's just like, this it doesn't fit my body. <laughs> yeah. For a dog's body. Strangely enough. Underneath the body. It, yeah. did, it did work, though. It did. I yeah, fell off that thing a bunch of times. It was real fun. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You did a good job. Yep. Uh, yeah. Big old The last one is darker in the center. It's kind of having a yeah. almost stigmata effect right? going on or That's something. Right? That's what I was just thinking. Ooh. Such a cool yeah. shot. Wow. Right before yeah. a little lower and you get Catherine and Tyler on the side. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, it just ends with bump and look over at one of them and be like, all right, <laughs> get back up there. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so there's the lines. If it wasn't any clear, that is Wilford. That mm-hmm. it was an yeah. accident. I swear. Oh yeah. And then you, you guys had you and Mick had to lift me over the railing because I had blood all over my hands. Yeah. So I had to yeah. climb over myself. So this is where we can Got start talking about insurance. the different iterations <laughs> of this idea. They had it. Um. So the like the original incarnation, we we wanted um, the colonel was supposed to have a fall. Not the fall. He was going to have a fall from grace. Like, he oh. goes, descend in the <laughs> madness. So the first person that he was supposed to shoot was, I think it was still going to be the detective. Yeah. Or no, he wasn't shooting the detective at all. The first person he shot, we were going to have him fight for a gun that the detective had, and then Damien was going to be shot. So, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Mark, we were talking about this, and we were like, so there's going to be a falling <laughs> over the railing. And so, for those of you that don't know, I was a gymnast for, like, ten years. And you can't just, like, fall off of something. You have to, like, train for it. So Mark and I went to this parkour gym that's, like, uh, that's here in L.A. Um, and we were just, like, jumping off of stuff and training how to fall. And then uh, we had the idea of the viewer getting shot. Um, and so we, like, played that out in the parkour gym. <laughs> just fun. <laughs> well, yeah. the original idea was Damien. It was... Supposed to be Damien, the colonel, and the detective on the balcony. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So at that point, Damien had not been in there. The original incarnation of that, I, that's why I had to rewrite, um, or I didn't have to, but I did, uh, like, rewrote that the Damien was in that room with Celine when she gets possessed. Because originally she was always getting possessed, but it was just because she dabbled by herself, like alone in the house when everybody went outside. Um, and then... With then it led to, but what the idea was that Dame or uh, the Colonel would only fall to madness if he had to kill one of his best friends. But then we realized like that wasn't enough. He had to be convinced like like the madness comes in when you you question your reality, not with like remorse over an action. Like madness is is loss in a different way. You know when 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 what you believe is true is not true. Look when at you're, that. Look at that body. Oh, yeah. mm. So Look we had to do, leg. this is all on green screen. Uh, oh, boy, when I was flopping, shot. my leg, again, with this rope. Oh, no, but it put pro- some, like, veins in it, so it's, like, kind of weird. Uh, you look when it, like, blinks in. So you, uh, you got some, like, okay. branches growing out of your leg. This sequence is so impactful to me. Like, it, it's The original plan was he was going to fall in. Yeah. Uh, hard to do. <laughs> hard to do. So flop out from the darkness. Uh, Amy did the special effects on this. Yeah. So cool. Um, so cool. This was done so cool. at the green screen, right? Mm-hmm. Out of yeah. <laughs> so people are wondering about this. It's not fair, is it? The reason I, I, I came up with that line because I thought, what is the creepiest thing that could happen after you die? You mm-hmm. see this body of someone else that you saw get killed suddenly say words to you. Um, emotionless, deadpan words. Uh, well, see, now his body's all, all goofed up. Mm-hmm. Now it's all up. fucky. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if it remember how he was stabbed thirty seven times, poisoned, beaten, strangled, shot. This is the truth. His body is fucked up. Like the the mark that you see, like walking down those stairs, he'd already at that point been killed over and over and over and those over. Those legs over again. don't tell the true they story. Don't tell the true story. <laughs> yeah. Smooth legs. Um and so I'll explain them more in that detail in just a bit once we, just a little bit here. But yeah, uh, it's, it's a creepy line because it's almost like something that someone would say to empathize with somebody else. Yeah. yeah. Not like the victim yeah. of a horrific murder. Yeah. Exactly. So it makes it even more creepy that 
So I, w- I will say that is not Mark saying that line. That is someone saying that line through Mark's body. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It's basically a continuation of what Damien is saying right here. It's not fair, is it? He took everything from us. Those are part of the same sentence. Like, it's Got it's it. it's one body saying, or two different people saying the same thing. You know what I mean? And that's because an important... Technically, Mark's body is down there in the shot. It's hard to see. Yeah, let me yeah. turn this up. It is um, down there. It's Yeah, it's right there. Uh, He's pointing right. He down there. to his body. Yeah. He is there. <laughs> uh, so, like, that's an important distinction to make. These thoughts are coming through... Uh, in in a way that is slightly illogical here, uh, and and a lot of people are wondering like what did Mark do? Why did Mark do this? What is going? And yes, this is what we call the upside down. Um, actually, did we call that the upside down or the walk through the no, house? The walk through, I think we called the upside down. And, and then we, we kind of had the both name for the both of them. Yeah, we, yeah. No, well, we ha- it was originally inspired by that scene in Get Out, mm-hmm. so we'd like reference that a bit. Right. With the it. zoom out for the where you just kind of go out transported into this void. Celine with the different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like the like this zone, which is also kind of where you end up when Celine sends you like back mm-hmm. and like yeah. what absorbs that. I room. always thought this was like the pre-death zone, like when Purgatory? your spirit hasn't gone to where it's supposed to go yet. Oh, the kind like of transitional whether, period between whether it's yeah, like another yeah. reality, whether there's yeah. whatever. That is called purgatory. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, there's a word for that. That's not it. If I had to explain this place, I'm if I had to explain it <laughs> anywhere, limbo. It, once you mm-hmm. go in the house, it's not your it like inside the house is not really our world. Like in the house is very different than out of the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. As if, you know, I don't want to say it because it'll make people think. There's another way. dimension? In no, what I was saying, like, if you are if you stepped into someone's mind, that would be the greatest example that I could come up with, but then that makes people think of, like, a different way. Like, yeah. if you step into someone's mind, imagine that's the same as you stepping into that house. Yeah. The reality is what they think of what they not saying there's something there that's thinking that stuff, but that's just the analogy. Yeah, anyway. So, yeah. Damien's mad. He'd been planting the years, and now that son of a bitch is walking around there in my body. And this this was the, the most confusion that people had. Well, a lot of people were wondering when mm-hmm. yeah, he when. started walking in the So, body. And then people were like, did it happen during the series and stuff like that? Um, but the more important thing is Celine, number one, like... Celine stops Damien from talking. Is like, no, no, can't answer questions. Can't answer it. No time. No time. Mark took everyone. Blame Mark. Like, Celine here is saying the things that she knows you want to hear. And uh, death does not mean the same thing here. And I'm not saying that uh, Celine, you know, oh, God. Oh, uh, the screenshot I took. Oh yeah, I have this. a bunch too. Do you have Let me one show the screenshot. Stuff? Yeah, um, someone else can be more eloquent than we are. Yeah, it, it's a hard concept to illustrate in mm. just a few words, like here, when I haven't written it all down and thought about it very, very, very hard, which I have. Um, uh, here it is. Broken as it may be, it's still out there. Yeah. Yeah. So you have marks really mutilated, destroyed body, and then you have the one gunshot wound. Mm -hmm. And a fall. And a fall. So, when she says death doesn't mean the same thing here, that's very, very true. Uh, If you die in this house, you're not dead. Like, there was this one, uh, there was one game that I played a long time ago that I draw a lot of inspiration from for this concept. Uh, it, it It was the idea that, like, after, when Judgment Day happens, or whatever, like, it, it very religious base of this game, I can't remember what it is. If anybody remembers it, put it out in the, uh, the chat. When Judgment Day happens, and uh, the believers are called to heaven and all that stuff, then people are left on earth in purgatory. Uh, they took that concept and they took it literally, where the people that were left behind, all of a sudden everybody just disappeared, and people had no idea why, and they were like, this is weird, okay, gotta try to survive. Then people started getting hurt, and then people started dying, but they wouldn't die. Like, their body would take the damage, and then they would keep going in pain. 
they even if they were shot through the heart, they would keep living and then they would live with that pain. If they shot themselves in the head, they would live with that pain and the inability to use your body, still alive and totally conscious. That hell of just constantly being stuck in your more broken and broken body as it keeps going on and on and on. That's what I imagined what happens to, like, in this place. Like, uh, after, after Celine and the colonel left, Mark was left in, like, this super spiral downwards. He was just completely out of it, didn't know what to do, and he may have at one point tried to kill himself, but it didn't work, which was super weird. Uh, he, you know... And then he started learning more. And the other thing I imagine about this house, a lot of people, a lot of people are wondering probably now about this house, and they're probably coming up with theories. I, uh, as many of you know, I recently started watching like Warhammer or reading up Warhammer 40k books. And uh, one of the interesting things about Warhammer 40k is this concept of chaos. There's this almost parallel universe that is entirely filled with human emotions like and I'm, I'm not saying that's what this is but the concept it's filled with human emotions no matter what they are positive or negative it's filled with that and eventually over time these intelligences start forming in the, the chaos of this other universe and this chaos the worst thing about it and and the one thing that i took from this is the thing that causes people to change and the thing that curses people is this it's this not not a thing but it's this idea that whispers in your ear and the worst thing that could possibly do is it makes you think that the ends justify the means in whatever situation that you're taking it it's not like one thing it's gently over time like this thing whispering like imagine after like mark his wife left him his friend betrayed him like he this thing whispers like that's not fair that's not fair. No, that's not fair. No, you're right. No, that's not fair. Why should they be happy? No, no, of course. No, they shouldn't be happy. Maybe, like, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe they shouldn't be happy. Maybe they should, maybe they don't deserve to be happy. Maybe you should do something about them not being happy. Maybe you should set something up to make sure that they'll never be happy again. And it's just this day by day step of like the longer you stay in that house, the more it drives you towards things like that it wants you to do. And the worst part is it convinces you that you, you thought of it in the first place. That's what the house does. Um, and so, uh, over time, like these things get to people, the longer they've been in the house, the worse it is. Uh, and then Mark had a lot of time alone in the house. Uh, so, Celine here, thinks she's doing the right thing. Damien here trusts Celine. Celine was possessed a while ago. And the person that almost 100% nailed it in every aspect, I'll show you guys this art. Oh, I, I uh, have a link to that original. I haven't, I didn't see oh, yes, that. If you go to her, his, their Tumblr, and like scroll down like two pages, you can pull it up. Yeah, um, it's M R K M O O A U T M. I'm gonna tweet out this picture that I took. If you guys want to go to Twitter, you, and just... the, there's two of them, right? There's like the two panels. <coughs> yeah, there's two panels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, when when we had talked about this previously, mm -hmm. what I understood it as was that Mark was practicing in the dark arts, and that he was killing himself to eventually try and take over. And get revenge on the colonel to replace the colonel. I'm getting to that. Oh. <laughs> well, well you, the element felt like it completely changed. No, I'm just letting. I was okay. getting to it. I gotta gotta build one idea at a time here. I'm ready. I'm refreshing. All right. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was tweeting that out. <laughs> Bated breath. Um, do you want to link to her that actual post? Yeah, actually, could you do a link to the post? I'd rather do that than just... I'm going to send it to you. Tweet it at me. DM I'm me. I'm going to DM you. DM. There you go. Yeah, because we were screenshotting everybody who had theories and stuff and uh, and going like that. No, it, it's it's not depression. <laughs> like, that's not what it is. No, this is, this is something like an intelligent, 
intelligence, quote unquote, that. Sorry, I'll I'll, I'll finish my thought. It's, I like the chaos, like mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. Angle. Uh. Okay. So got this link. So. I'm gonna tweet this out. Yeah. Okay. Paste. That works. Go on. Bam. Okay. So. In that, now that we understand that, if you look at that post uh, and look at the picture at the bottom, the picture is what illustrates the concept the most. Um, and then, you know, it's it, it comes more to that. So then the question is, well, why did Mark, why, if Mark was trying to get revenge and the colonels that did him wrong then why did all of this happen? The answer is, Mark never expected Celine to come back. Uh, Mark didn't expect Celine to be here. He didn't want Celine to be a part of this. Uh, Celine came of her own volition and was not supposed to be here. Uh, Celine threw a wrench into all that plans. What happened was, Mark had been experimenting and trying and understanding this this place and what this place was and doing research and uh, like, was able to like look into the history of the house and get history on the backstory of it and get history on what was happening here and and understand more and more. And so like he was stabbed 37 times. That's because he stabbed himself 37 times over the course of preparing for this, poisoning, beating, like drowning, shot, all of these different various things uh like just trying to see and push the limits and understanding and knowing what it is. Um because every time that he died, he got sent to this place. And was able to like really get a deeper understanding of it and understand what's going on. And then when it all came down to it, the answer is yes, the colonel killed Mark, but it wasn't intentional. Mark wanted to set up an environment where he could frame the colonel for his death. And then at the end of it, like he could steal uh, the colonel's body and then get revenge like uh in that way it's a stupid plan and it wasn't going to work anyway but he believed it would then what happens was Celine came in and threw a wrench into that plan and then the house suggested an alternative because Celine presented an opportunity that the house wanted which was a more powerful way to manifest itself Mm. Uh, because Celine actually understands it where Mark is just an idiot that is trying to get revenge. A heartbroken idiot is what Mark is. And he is just a pawn in all of this. But what the house does is when the the house sees his plan, the house wants Celine and then subtly suggests to Mark that, hey, maybe you should take this, the mayor's body. Like then you can get out scot-free and you don't have to worry about that. And then the mayor's in a position of power. This is a better way to go this plan anyway. Yeah, go with that. And then Mark thinks it's his plans the whole time. And then uh, what happens after that is suddenly the mayor is very upset and angry. And then Celine is like, no, no, I have an idea. I know how to fix this. All you have to do is let me in. And so if you guys look at that picture at the bottom, that's kind of what it is. Because it's... It's just this weird, nebulous middle ground where you want to do what's right, and you can't. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you can never do the right thing. And you can't understand why, and so you just keep trying. If you trust us, and then like it, this is telling in the story because if you listen to the audio, people are listening very closely. There's this other voice layer beneath everyone's lines. After everyone says something, you hear this almost mocking tone of what it is, and then you hear this like really, really dragging. Like it's very, it's slower. The line is delivered differently. It's just this weird. Undertone. It's very quiet, but you can definitely hear. We're doing it. any like processing on that. Oh, it's so the, much <laughs> processing. You must have like yeah. lots of plugins so on there. So much sort of stuff was happening. Crunch yeah. the sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this will work, I promise. With every intention of doing the right thing, like 
every intention of doing the right thing. Damien is so trusting, and that's where the tragedy is. Damien wants to help. So cool. I love that. Yeah. Oh, about to get real sad. Yeah. And then yeah. put your this tissues part, out. This part was sad. Mm-hmm. This part really was, yeah. I didn't realize how sad because I was like, I didn't realize how sad until after I started editing it. Well, because the plan was to have it kind of like build, like the sound build and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, it was gonna be like a big dramatic moment, and then I realized like with, uh, like with, just how sad it was. Oh yeah, and the emotional impact, like it, in in the comments on, uh, on my channel for the uh, piano tutorials, mm-hmm. so, so many comments that are like, "Well, I'm crying again. <laughs> I'm yeah. crying again." Yeah. Um, so it's, also, the mirrors in those windows also do a creepy thing. <laughs> you can spot the house. Just, they had too many mirrors. Yeah. So, yes, the colonel was waiting there the entire night, cradling Damien's cane. Yes. He was mourning the loss of his friend, and he was standing over your body the entire night, mourning his actions. That doesn't mean madness. That means regret. Madness comes from seeing this body you'd been staring at for 10 hours suddenly just get back up. That's where, like, madness happens. Well, get back he also up. never had closure as to what happened to Damien. Yeah, which is why he runs the out of the room. The body gets back up looking different as well. It's yeah. just like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just... I remember when we were filming it, you wanted to because originally we had like a much longer take of you walking through the house like shouting people's names and you're just like nah that's too sad yeah yeah it was real it was a real downer yeah so like that's why he he just wants to find like he's like to fall right there yeah well you pick up <laughs> The chica? Yeah. chica. He's crying. Huh. Well, you and you pick up the wharf uh, voice in there and like the walk. Yeah, little. that's kind of the. Thing. That's what I was trying to do. It was hard to come across because it's really hard to do between two yeah. voices I made up. But yeah. I was trying to add the lilt of Will her Warfash into a little bit of what he was saying, and that's why you know you see the yellow shirt and the pink and the red. It's pink because it's faded. Like, that's why the suspenders are I also saw people talk about why he wears bow ties now because of Damien, and I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. (laughs) See, that's the other thing. Like, (laughs) like, there's so many cool things that the fans make up. That's why I'm very much, like, if it's not in the video, then, like, if I didn't specifically put it in and specifically frame it a certain way, like, it's, like, a lot of things are are open-ended like they don't have a solid answer that doesn't mean that the fan answer is right until it's like put in yeah. to what's real like it, it's really it, it's really open to interpretation so in this one um a lot of the time the hand was either ethan or whoever was on hand i wanted to make the very clear distinction like it's a that's not your hand it's it's my hand <laughs> my hand oh, to my hand it's very clear distinction uh, that's Amy's hand, by the way. Well, that's that your my hand. hand. No, 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 that's my hand. That's, that's Amy's hand. <laughs> Evan? Amy? Amy. Okay, so this one was super hard to, uh, I, like, but you I, did. It I looks spent so, good. so long on this last shot. Uh, it was the first special effects I did. I started working in After Effects for the first time during this project, Woo. and my God, why have I not been working in After <laughs> Effects this whole goddamn time? After Effects is so good. I was like, it was built for this. It yeah. almost. So, uh, crickety crack. Don't talk back. Uh, <laughs> the burst, uh, figuring out how to do this freaking glass overlay oh, was the hardest great. thing. Then I started to look up the, like how to do this shine thing, how to get it to bleed out from like underneath the cracks. <laughs> Super fun. Super fun to do. Uh, but then, yeah, when, when, we were, when I was watching through it and after I put it in with the kernel thing, I was like, this we can't have a big build up it's got to be quiet like this whole thing was loud like with full of like full of like raucous energy and then like this is this is a fucking terrifyingly <coughs> sad ending like there's no joy in this ending because the series starts out in such a laughing like funny way right. and then yeah. the ending it, and a lot of people did get this when you when the glass breaks for the first time, you look in a mirror, like even from the the time you look up in the mirror, it's not like 
it's uh, you're not looking yourself in the eye. It's like, and uh, it's not your body anymore. So the viewer, in in all of Damien's goodwill, and I'd say that Damien. Can you pause it right there? Yeah. I'll talk about something later. Keep, yeah. keep going. In, in all of Damien's goodwill and all of Damien's good intentions, in the end, he kicked you out of your body along with Celine because he believed firmly that it was in your best interests or his, like in the, it was for the greater good. The ends justified the means of once he was in your body with Celine with this entity, like the ends justified the means. And then he walks away and you're left staring at this broken mirror like and you're just left there so the viewer not only did the colonel go to madness not only did damien and celine be merged in this horrible entity pursuing nothing but revenge but you the viewer are stuck trapped in uh in the house Hmm. it's terrible go back to that that broken glass part that i was told you to pause it yeah if you look a little further ahead, very interestingly, in that crack, mm-hmm. if you look towards the center of it, it looks like a silhouette of the person of a person. Okay. Yeah, it does a little bit. Right there, yeah. oh, down yeah. lower, that right there. I see it. See the head and like the, the arm out to the right, and it's like his torso, <clears throat> and then the flower kind of bro- blocks it in the door. Oh, I can see. It. I visually pictured that as the the, the viewers. Or somebody else is there that you can't really necessarily equate as a presence of some other person. Mm-hmm. The, the okay. glass crack is also funny because it's like, oh, you want to move some of the pieces around a little so it looks broken. But then you just like look at this super derpy face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if I you c- move the eyes too much. Yeah, I couldn't move the glass around the face too much. But <laughs> yeah. it, was, uh, it was super cool. And uh, it, was, it was interesting because this di- when we first were talking about it, it wasn't an origin story. Like, in no way, in no way was it an origin story. And we were writing it very clear. We were like, okay, we need, like, a Professor Plum. Maybe we could, like, merge it. We were trying to, like, find ways to have all of us be a character. You know, we needed, like, then we wanted this detective in there. And then it was like, okay, we got to have a Colonel Mustard. And it was like, Colonel, Colonel, he can go bully and stuff. And it's like, yes, yes. (laughs) And then, like, writing it more and more and then turning it. It wasn't wasn't who killed Markiplier first, was it? Or was it always? It was, it, was. it was. It was always. Yeah. It was always yeah. who killed Mark Blower. But it went through like the Clue iteration, then it went to like the Nightcrawler iteration, yeah. and then yeah. it went through oh, yeah. this so like origin story. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, but so everyone can wrap up like the story and and finish it. Oh, also after credits, that's the detective talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we said, death doesn't mean the same Not thing dead. here. Not dead. Not okay. dead. Can I complain about the mirrors again real quick? Go back to when you, like, approach, uh, Will. War. Will. Go. William. Bit. William. Oh, wow. okay. At this point, what is it? Very. Okay. So if you look at that yeah. window, that's a window, but with the reflections cool. and that mirror, you can see Ethan walking forward, and I came back through the front door and then turned left and walked, and you see yourself walking sideways <laughs> while yeah. you walk forward. It's huh. real weird. So it's fucked up. Huh. <laughs> Fuck me up. That is good shit. That's a good one. So, uh, in conclusion, again, it's not who killed Markiplier. Uh, it's why killed Markiplier. Why killed Markiplier. Why killed Specifically, Markiplier. if you want really specific details, uh, in my mind, uh, Mark asked the <coughs> colonel to meet him in that cellar for a drink, uh, which is why the broken bottle was down there, and he offered to play a game of Russian roulette. Um, but he played a little differently. Like, he... He basically went to, he, he basically, in, in my head, again, this wasn't actually in the video, so I can't declare it as canon. Uh, it, it, in my interpretation, he invited him down there for a drink. He wanted to let everything go, and he wanted to finally be uh, okay. You know, he finally wanted everything just to be fine. Uh, the colonel was like, I'm not too sure about this, but sure. Uh, and then the Mark was just like, oh, whoa, no, it's totally fine. Like, everything's good. Uh, let me show you. We'll play. We'll play one game and let fate decide if that's fine. And then he pulled out like the colonel's gun and uh, put one bullet in it and then aimed it at the colonel and shot. And uh, it didn't didn't shoot. And he was like, "There you go." And the colonel was mad at first, but then Mark was like, "And the colonel's very drunk at this point." Colonel uh, Mark is not. 
And then Mark's just like, no, 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 no. Now your turn. And if it doesn't kill me, then everything's good. No bad blood. I took my shot because you did betray me. You take your shot. And after this, we'll let everything go and bygones be go- bygones. But Mark planned for it to be so the colonel would shoot him. He did shoot him. The colonel panicked, uh, tried to hide the evidence. Um, and then that's where that's why in the first episode the colonel is so flippant about it and so avoiding of Damien. Hmm. Damien, he's so very much like this was an accident in his head, but he realizes this. there's no way this could be interpreted as an accident. Um, and so that's why he's just all kinds of... Uh, like fucked up about it and that's also why when the body moves the colonel's suddenly more amicable and he's like okay i see what's going on here and that's why he's just like much more uh conversational than he was in the first episode but still avoiding you know still avoiding damien Hmm. you know anyway that's but none of that was super spelled out in the (laughs) series so that's just what my thought process was going in Makes sense to me. I mean, the original idea was for them to immediately suspect the colonel, and then the detective was helping set him up. Yes! I also want to mention something else that some people caught, not a lot. (coughs) There is, there's one frame, I do like to do the one frame thing, if I can catch it, because this is an important one. There's one frame. These, these, they don't flicker at all throughout the rest of this. When he says... Let me in. Wait, what did already happen? There it is. Oh, there, there it is. is. Okay, there it was. Yeah. Mm, There's two ah. frames, actually, this time. God mm. damn it. Shoop. Shoop. Do- there, it there it is. Okay. So, in this, it's hard to see, again, because YouTube compression. Damien disappears. <coughs> Celine doesn't quite fully disappear. When, they, when he says, let me in... It flickers, and there's just a dead body, and the shadow of Celine left. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's all I wanted to point out. I forgot to point that out. <laughs> well, I think there was one big question: Is Dark made up of the Seer and Damien? Neither. Yeah. Well, I mean, kinda. That, I mean, <laughs> it's <laughs> all right. It's it's complicated, right? It's the energy. Because a lot of people are. <laughs> Um, when I talk to Pam at Twitch that people are like saying she's a part of Dark like her combined with Damien make the evil or whatever oh yeah oh yeah Yeah. that's why I very clearly red blue (laughs) yeah you're red and blue like red blue like that's that's why that was very red and blue yeah (laughs) Yeah. evil is red and blue (laughs) the biggest thing is she said she didn't know Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh yeah. yeah, and I said that was probably the case because the red and blue. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 